What's up, baby? Ha <laughs> ha! We live, guys. What's up, man? I'm Mr. Glock420. Over here to my other side Vibration of me, my better half, my co-host of the show. The bigger half. The bigger half. Vibration NC. Coming Vibration at you live. NC! Last Stand Podcast. Remember that in your head. We're going to be here for a while. So, Vibe, what's going on, bro? Well, first of all, I want to say I'm sick. So, if y'all bear with me. Uh... I'm going to be here all night, but I might puke on stream. Yeah, Vibe's not feeling very good. He uh, caught the sniffles yesterday, <laughs> so now he's feeling for it. So, But anyway, guys, so I'll, I'll go ahead and pick up the slack because I know Vibe does, you know, he's he's going to be here. He's, we got some great topics, by the way. Vibe picked up some good ones. The main topic today is console war. That's, uh, you know, the topic at hand for the show. But, uh, you know. My co-host here, he's the guy that's digging up stuff that we can talk about around console wars. And at 9.30, we will have our first special guest. He, his name's Rusty. You can follow him up on Twitter, Falcon1974. He has a great YouTube channel. Lot Rusty! Of content. Do you know this guy did 365 videos last year? You know what I mean? A whole year of Call of Duty... That takes some commitment, man. I'm telling that take. I mean, that you know, I've been takes... married for five years. That's hard. <laughs> I've been married for all. I can what, imagine playing a video game now? every day. <laughs> yeah, five that's like years. A, I'm old. That's like a that's like a marriage. You know, I mean, I I, I couldn't imagine being committed. Mute to your that. stream. So my stream's muted. It's muted. Yeah, I took care of it. I, it? Saw right. I, I saw that. I saw that. Hey, I, I told you. Andrew. I told everybody that. Uh, that the we're gonna have was... some kinky stuff. I mean, work out the kinks. Yeah, yes. we're gonna be working out the kinks. <laughs> uh, so, turn off your heater, vibe. So, the heater's off. It is not on. No heat coming out of that thing. It is off. Would I look better if I had my shades on? <laughs> I think I should put these things on. I don't know. Does that make like? I don't know. Does that? I, make I keep I think the light gay out of my face. Gay, right? I mean, well, I mean, I got this big bright well, light in my do. face, man. I mean, you know, I'm trying to light up everything, but uh, <laughs> how about that? We'll rock the Keem Stars. No, the wait, Keem, yours are Keem, Keem Stars. Mine stars. are just cool. Man, is that where we got that from? That guy is great too. <laughs> so, anyways, we got Rusty coming in tonight. <laughs> um, he's gonna be kind of the the guy to sit here and talk about <laughs> console wars with us. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Vibe. You got something you want to just kind of get offhand? You know what I mean? What do you think about this whole console war to begin with? You know, I'm not talking about all the little things. I mean, but what do you think about the shit between, you know, PS4 versus Xbox? I mean, I mean, do you honestly... Well, they call it the easy station, the easy station for a reason. You know why. That's why That's why there's an argument going around. It's nothing but little kids playing for free. All right, you got to understand... They, they argue, you know? You got to understand Vibe over here is a total the Xbox fanboy. The Xbox One boy. players actually... You're an Xbox, Xbox fanboy. Uh, on. Fans. You're an Xbox fanboy. Yeah, boy. we pay for it, and we're generally the more mature, older people who have money, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, I mean, but I mean, so I own... my argument comes from is there's really no argument. <laughs> <laughs> there, well, there, I, I mean, mean, other than the differences between the systems, well, then yeah. there's argument there. Yeah, sure. But, but I mean, isn't that kind of contradicting Microsoft? I mean, to, ch to charge something so much for a console, but yet, I mean, if you open up the PS4. From what I've seen, I mean, uh, it's pretty loaded, man. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff inside, the processors, the capability. It looks like it seems to be a lot better. And they say <laughs> even most of their games run at 1080. Speaking, so. speaking of uh, console wars, what about the white creamy stuff coming out of the Xbox Ones? Did you guys hear about that? What? The uh, Evidently, the capacitors are exploding on the top half of the Xbox One and shooting through the top of the Xbox. White creamy stuff just oozing out. Oh wow! Well, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's exciting. I I don't know My what's Xbox more. What, what's is is it the Xbox <laughs> that's excited? I mean, I, <laughs> what do you say? Well, I, you I, know what? I don't know. I, you would you would think that the PS4 would be more excited. You know, they do have they are watching three times more porn than the <laughs> Xbox One users. So, I mean, oh, I would God. think the PS4 would be the one with the white creamy stuff coming out. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, to me, it's just. I mean, I have I own both consoles, so I'm a I'm a console gamer. I mean, I started off with Sony, and uh, I had an Xbox a long time ago. You know, the one the original ones before they went 360 and all that crap. Just that big fucking beta looking Max looking thing, and the thing burnt up on me. And uh, luckily, I was able to get my money back for it. <laughs> but you know, from there, you know, I went on play, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, and uh, my first PlayStation Three, of course, got the yellow light of death, I guess, <laughs> corrupted hard drive, which I still I, have. I wonder if it. <clears throat> well, we're talking about consoles. Uh, was it easier using the lag switch that you had on the <laughs> PS Three or the Xbox Three Sixty? I never tried it for the Xbox. Uh, like I. <laughs> See, I didn't have the Xbox up to about two months before PlayStation <laughs> Network got hacked and it was down. So I already had an Xbox. So, and I haven't, dude, it was funny, man. I, I can't believe I found that thing, that lag switch in the closet, right? Because I was cleaning out the closet and I found that motherfucker. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Let me put this on Twitter right now. So these new kids don't know what lag switching is. <laughs> they don't know what lag switching is, man. Uh, last time I used that was probably on uh, MW2 and then, no, World at War. That was the last time I, I ever used it. Because I've seen a video, I've made it, I tested it out on World at War, it was fun, and then, I mean, I just never used it anymore. Just sat around. I had, I used it, I used, it was just a regular light switch. Just a regular light switch. Cut the orange wire. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey, we have a manager in here tonight. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew is our manager. Andrew, do me a favor and uh, change the title, uh, if you can. Wasn't it uh, the, the tweet was saying it's the pre-show still? Oh, <laughs> just yeah, asking, just change, saying. Uh, you know, I never the had the. To, uh... <laughs> I never had the PS3 Glock. Only game I've ever played on the PlayStation was that Mike Tyson knockout or knockout, whatever it was. Oh, wow, the boxing that's, game. That's old. Only game I have ever played. I had a Nintendo, which we played Zelda. Uh, what was a basketball game where you'd run sideways and you'd shoot the three-pointer while f flying sideways, and you did it every time from the baseline? <laughs> <clears throat> what else was there? Oh, uh, we played uh, – after that, we got the Commodore 64. I know this is not quite console wars, but we went to a game called Wasteland, Bard's Tale, stuff like that. Right, 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 right. And right. then uh, I guess I graduated and I didn't play any video games anymore. Not until that I got was, married did huh? I discover the that Xbox it, huh? One. I, mean, 360. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get too much in the depth of the history because I want to, you know, I want to talk about the history part of consoles that leads up to this whole console war. Now, I want to leave that up when Rusty comes in here because that guy's got some hella good insight on that. But uh, what I will talk about is my first experience of gaming, and that was was she hot. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Uh, actually, no. My first experience on gaming was at a bar, believe it or not. And I was with my mom and my dad. And it was more like a bar and grill type of atmosphere, you know. Had pool tables, dartboards. But they had this Pac-Man. <coughs> this Pac-Man machine. That was the kind that you sit down, you could put your drink yeah, up on Yeah, the flat one, the table? The table one. And that yeah. was my, my first gaming experience was Pac-Man on this thing. And I swear I spent so much money on it. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, my God, this is so much fun. Look at this. You know, just eating these things, you know. And I got good at it. Yeah. How, did, how did it go? I, I don't know. I mean, you know. <laughs> We're going to create a new, a new Last Stand podcast soundboard. A soundboard okay. for Glock. And then that way that we will, can have will there Glock. be a a fart button? Uh, we can <laughs> add one. We can damn sure add one. You know no. the fart button's got to be in there. So, um, so yeah, guys. You know, uh, we can't pay attention too much to the chat. But I will thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate you coming. Like I said, I'm Mr. Glock. This is Vibration NC. And uh, if you guys are familiar with Drunk Sex Podcast, that's where we originally started from. And uh, it's still around. We're still going to bring it back. Probably going to be in the summertime when it gets a little hot. And the ladies are out. And then thong, 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 thongs. And uh, the beer tastes better when it's hot out. <laughs> so, uh, but for right now, you know, we thought we'd start this gaming podcast show. I mean, we've, we're all gamers. We all met as gamers. And, uh, you know, what better way to sit and chill? Speaking. You know, go ahead. 
Speaking of gamers, you know, we'll, we'll continue uh, the console wars uh, con conversation once we get rusty yeah, in here. Once but we get rusty let's in. talk about some of the news that's going on. Talk about some of the news that's going around on the community right now. What about MLG Philly getting swatted? No, it wasn't wow. MLG. It was UMG. I mean, wasn't it UMG swatted? UM, yeah, UM, UMG swatted. Philly swatted, yeah. I haven't, you know, I just so, heard about it, and uh, I really haven't gotten much into it. But, I mean, I, that sucks, dude. And then I heard about this dirt and, trolling guy. This dirt trolling guy knocks down, uh, what was it, Sony or Microsoft? Or, no, EA. Knocks down EA servers. And then uh, hits another um, type of network, hits another network, knocks it down. I mean, I'm just like, wow, dude. I mean, this is really going on. I mean, cy cyber wars, dude. That's the new terrorist threat. I want to know. I thought the Xbox One was going to have a security proof on it to where, you know, nobody could get in and hack it. Next thing you know. Wow. How many people did you hear of uh, breaking their Xboxes because they thought they were hacked or something? There's a couple of instances oh, of dude, that going uh, around. You remember I talked about not too long ago. I said I had mentioned, I don't know, I, had, I did a video on about it. Um, I talked about how there was a there was an article, a blog or whatever, was talking about how there was 34K consoles between Xbox and PS4 that were getting hacked a day. This was about three weeks ago or so. Maybe two weeks ago or whatever. Yeah. There was a couple days where they were getting I would, hacked. I would... Dude, I'm glad I didn't get my new console. I would sue man. the crap out of them. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I'm waiting to get my console, dude. Let them fix all this fucking shit, man. Excuse my language, but I mean, you know, let let them skip all that. Let them let, let them go through it. Take care of it. I'll wait, man. I'm not in no hurry, you know. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just checking out some new PS4 news. No, it's all right. It's no big deal. Um. I haven't really seen much news going on about it. Uh, I just know that they've got, you know, they, yeah. they they come out, you know, with their console. Well, it's not a whole big selection of exclusive games or, you know, anything to them. Um, you know, I know that Xbox got Forza and, and, and Sony's got Gran Turismo. You know, um, I don't know. I mean, uh as far as, like, if you watch videos and shit, dude, on, on the different racing games and shit like that, you know, that's going on. I mean, I, I really don't see much difference between the two consoles. I really don't. So. One's free and one's not, right? Is PS4 still free? Uh, is there a, a, a monthly they, subscription now? I think there's a, a PlayStation Plus subscription. I don't know if you have to, like, pay to play, though. I'm not, I don't know yet. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have it, so I don't know. Hmm. Well. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so. Let's talk about the creamy stuff coming out of the Xbox One again. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you got cream for the brain. So Glock, so, Glock is talking about... What time we got here, Glock? Uh, we got about 15, 16 nine. minutes Glock before is, uh, Rusty gets in here. Let's talk about how excited you are about building your new PC, so you'll stop raging when we do podcasts. Oh, I mean, and now I'm excited, are you going to also buy the Xbox One when you get it? Yeah, I'm getting the Xbox One, but it's, I'm getting to get my PC built first. I got to build them a list that I'm going to use that's going to really help out, you know. And I'm hoping by February we should have the new PC going. So I'm, I'm going to do a setup video. It's going to be nice. It's going to be clean. So I can't it's wait. It's not going to be like you building that desk, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. That desk was interesting, though. I had 30-something people watching me build a desk and paint a wall. How amazing is that, dude? That's amazing. And people, I thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, well, I wrote your name in the snow last night. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, asshole. But I love that. So, you know, at least you're thinking of me. I'm just... I'm just uh, glad I'm glad, I didn't I'm have glad to you're I'm glad you gaming. <laughs> I'm glad you were thinking of me with your <laughs> wiener. Hey. Bromance, buddy. Bromance. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll kick it with you. Ready? I'll kick it with you. Kick it. Yeah. Oh man. I honestly feel like a train has run over me. 
I'm, I've got a beverage now. Hopefully, I'll feel a little better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so earlier while we were... So how, uh, how, y'all, how y'all doing down there in Florida, y'all? Uh, it's pretty cold down here right now. I mean, it's, dude, it's been windy all day. We got that Gulf Shore wind coming. It's been like it was in between 45 and 52 degrees, 55 degrees today, but the wind chill is like 23 30, 23 close to 30. So that's pretty bad down here in Florida, man. So I've been kind of, I've been, I've been in this motherfucker. Uh, I've been in the house all day, pretty much. I, I don't know. Not going out. Nope. I went up to Best Buy. I got my cable to set up my dual monitor right quick. And uh, that was about it. Oh, yeah. Is... Welcome to uh, the 2014s. Jeez, Glock. <laughs> I'm only, well, I only I only get it if I need it, man. I ain't one of those types of people like, oh, I gotta have it, you know. But now that this this computer's requiring me to have, uh, <coughs> you know, what you call it? Yeah. Bigger well, PC. I know. I I know. Once you get into gaming and uh, you start making your videos and you get into some graphics and stuff like that. Uh, you're definitely going to want another monitor. It's always great to have your workspace here, all your files or whatever located here. And then if you happen to have a third <laughs> monitor, you know, you can watch your Twitter and do all your other things over here. Right, right, right. It's well, pretty nice. And, I, you know, the Xbox One, evidently you can record your own videos and edit them. Yeah. And then upload them know. straight to YouTube. Is that right? The thing of that is, is you can get banned. Here's the thing, Vibe. You got to be forewarned, bro. You can get instant console banned cussing and screaming like you do on the xbox 360 they are tight wads now over there oh. and if you make a video good if you make a video using that software it's going to get monitored and before <laughs> it goes to youtube and you'll probably get console banned that too so i mean you're just going to have to keep oh, kind of like hushed. kind of like the prison where they read all your mail before you get it yeah there you go great there you go. Yeah. Why are they not blocking porn sites on Xbox One and PS4? Well, because it's not Xbox One. There's porn God, sites. You, PS4 has the ability I to search sites. I guarantee their parents. No, there's you can't. You can't on yeah. Xbox, dude. There's no. Uh, I forget why, but it it just doesn't. Wow. I know on the on the PlayStation you can watch. I can watch porn all day long. You know that's. I think that's going to be the next video I do is PS4 porn. Uh, parents, beware. <laughs> I might get a million views. Yes. You know what? I'm going to write that down. I'll do that tomorrow. PS4. Porn. Right, right, right. Somebody will beat me to it tonight, watch. God, you know, parents, I really feel beware. like... I, I, I kind of feel like crap, too, but, man, in all spirit of things, I'm trying to stay pumped, dude. I mean, it's like... Here we are, episode number one, Last Hand Podcast. We put this... The idea has been around forever. If you guys don't know where the idea comes from, uh, we had, uh, what was it, November last year, December last year? We had Fist on Drunk Sex Podcast, and um, he yeah, was, so, that he was, was his idea. He was so drunk, right? He's like, Glock, me and you are going to start a show, <laughs> and uh, we're going to call it Last Damn Podcast. And then about that time, he takes <laughs> off, goes outside, grabs a snowball, and sticks it in his crown and coke. And uh, <laughs> that was had, awesome. That was uh, the, <laughs> the the show idea went completely through the roof. It wasn't there anymore. So, and I've had it lingering in the back of my head. I've been wanting to do this forever. I just haven't had the ability or the, you know, <laughs> a good solid foundation to do it on. And I think now is a good time to do it. You know, so I threw this idea together, and uh, thank you know I thank Fist for the for the name. And uh, but it's. Uh, <laughs> I give him credit on that. He come up with the Xbox name. One. Yeah, <laughs> he's been playing the Xbox One quite a bit. I think he went six days without touching the 360, mm. and then he came back, right? I think so. Yeah. Well, he will have to well, after the last. On, he jumped on to see the connection difference. He was trying to get an analysis of connection difference between the Xbox One and the 360. <laughs> so he jumped on, checking that out. What we'll do is once, uh, you know, Rusty, we get done talking with Rusty, he's going to stick around with us, but around 1030, we're going to start chatting with you guys in the chat, and we'll uh, get some feedback from you guys who have the Xbox One compared to what, you know, you, got, you guys think about it.
versus uh, the three uh, X uh, PS4. That oh, one. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're gonna open up so. the chat section to talk with you guys. So save all your main questions till then, because uh, like I've been saying throughout the show, until that time, we're gonna be focusing on topics, chilling, and uh, getting things out in the open with the topics. You know, just talking between us and the guests. So my, we see you. We appreciate you coming. Rang. We appreciate you all the love and support. And we're glad you're here. So, you know, don't <laughs> feel discouraged if we're not talking to you right now. But we are here and we are watching. So much love to you guys. For real. Man, thanks. <laughs> oh, man. Got about another nine more minutes until Rusty gets in here. Um, yeah, I don't Yeah, uh, let's talk about uh, this real quick. The the sponsor down there at the bottom right hand corner of the screen right i think what we're going to do uh, this is glock's idea but i think we're going to maybe have an individual each week who will kind of sponsor the show for us kind of like maybe um is that what keemstar is doing but well, yeah right now we won't I gotta... charge you all 50 dollars <laughs> no I, I do have it set we'll up char we'll charge you 75 <laughs> no <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's we're actually... way better than the, the yeah it's actually set up uh, through PayPal. There is a PayPal link down below if you want to donate to the show or if you want to be a sponsor on the show. Uh, I think Andrew set it up for – I told him to set it up for $20. If you want to sponsor the show, I'll we'll put you down in the bottom right. We'll all proceeds. You, yeah. All proceeds go back to the show. All proceeds go to Vibe so he can <laughs> buy him a new Xbox One. <laughs> Actually, they go to they go to Glock so he can get some internet that works. <laughs> get some PC that works. He needs no. a he needs a new he needs a new CPU that works. Yeah. <laughs> no, but all proceeds are go towards the show to help out the show. The people are, you know, working with the show. You know, if, it'll also help out. I Maybe we'll do giveaways yeah. <laughs> later on in the show. We'll have the money bill to say, hey, we'll just get some Amazon digital cards for you guys to download to your console. You know, I've got an. I've got an empty uh, Elgato box and a Astros box. I can send those out to you guys. Anybody want an empty one? <laughs> I thought, you know, the Xbox One boxes are worth some money. Why not an Elgato box? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so, <laughs> you're crazy. Uh. You're crazy. All right, so we got uh, 923, about five, six, seven minutes here. We're going to get uh, Rusty, Rusty on. Let's do it, Leroy. In the show. In the show. Mm -hmm. Leroy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's got their speakers turned up? I can hear myself. Not me. Is that Andrew? Andrew! <laughs> huh, that didn't happen that time. He must have turned them down. <laughs> hey, check it out, Glock. Oh, yeah. You saved your Orlando. From Orlando. Remember buying one of these for $10 and then you get all the free drinks you want, but you got to walk eight miles to the one little spot that they sell you the drink in <laughs> for free? God, you go into the uh, you go into the one spot, the restaurant, that's got the special machine. I guess this thing has a magnet in the bottom of it. So as soon as you set it in there, it recognizes this glass. That's ridiculous. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to hack this thing. Next time I go to Orlando, I'm going to take the bottom of this, tape it to my own cup, Maybe white stuff will come oozing out the top. <laughs> oh, man. Lord. So, Vibe, how's it feel to have your channel back? <laughs> oh. Wow, you know what? I honestly don't know. I think it was false flagged. Could have been. Um, because my channel came back, and I had no notifications on any videos. No strikes, no messages, no emails, or nothing. I emailed them, and so did RPM, and I said, here's the video, you know, I'll tell you exactly what it is. I basically quoted it word for word and sent that email off to them, uh -huh. and uh, my channel came back. I was just going to Vibration NC Rage to check out my new channel to get it set up, and I accidentally hit enter too soon, and it just went to Vibration NC. Then, oh, it's back! And I was freaking out. Next thing you know, Glock's like, start a new one. Just start fresh, bro. Yeah. I was like, screw that. You know, I was talking to Freedom Fries, and, uh, man, I had so many videos on my channel I just didn't want to get rid of, so I'm glad they're back. I'm not going to start over. You know, if it's a dead channel, it's a dead channel. I still got I still get 100 views of videos, so I'm all right with that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that video and stop it right after the funny part and then end it. That's it. 
Because well, it got it, it got like I don't know. I, I bet it had thirty thousand views. I'd like to think that. I Shit, would still, three days and. I think you should put effort into a new channel because you got a good decent following, man. <laughs> and you want legit viewing, dude. Well, you know what I think I'll do? I'll I'll make a video that says if you're a if you're a sub and you're active, please leave a message or tweet me. Otherwise, I'm gonna delete you. <laughs> I wish I knew who my know. inactive subscribers were. I would have done kicked them off a long time ago. I'd be like, peace out. You're wasting sub boxes I wonder if time. There's, you know, there's a program out there that will it'll let you. I, what was that program called? It'll let you look at all your subs. And I bet there's a part on there that'll let you know when's the last time they watched one of your videos. Oh, well, you can DM me. Or liked a video. I don't want to know the link or anything on the on the stream. You can hit me up later on Twitter. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so, right, I'm we so excited. We I know we're not actually jumping up for joy on the first episode like we should be, man, but vibe's a little down. Um, uh, I gotta I'm say, getting better. This, this uh, beverage is working. I, got, I had a rough New Year's, bro. Very, very rough. <laughs> I killed nearly... Yeah, you look like you had a whole, rough New Year's. A new, uh, I killed nearly a whole bottle of uh, Red Stag uh, whiskey. Should I... Jim Bean. I'm going to sit back just as far as you are so we look about the same size. There we go. Why, are you scared I'm bigger than you? All you got to do is ask your wife about it. No, but that. you're just kind of lead all that. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, I thought we were keeping this podcast clean. Oh, Come on my now. bad. I'm sorry. We'll keep this, a, this is a family show. Hey, well, then yeah. why is it? You Conan O'Brien don't talk like shit. <laughs> it's age restricted to watch this show. <laughs> Hey, let's talk real quick about the background that's uh, on the channel, guys. <laughs> the left little tabs there is the basic concept. They're gonna have um, they're gonna have the topics on them, and then as we switch to a new topic, uh, it'll be highlighted. That is the plan. Uh, we threw this together kind of real quick. This is a background that Belfast made, so we have to finalize everything. But next week, by next week, we should have something. That's going to look pretty good yeah, yeah, and are, uh, working. Yeah, basically, I mean, it really isn't a whole lot to mess with, but, you know, we'll tinker around with it. And if you guys are graphics designers, man, and, you know, you're looking, you're bored and need something to do, hit us up with a lay, <laughs> uh, with an overlay, man, and, um, you know, put your design name on it. We'll use it in the show if it looks kind of cool, man, if it looks uh, last standish, yeah. <laughs> You know, kind of something in our taste, and uh, we'll put you up there, man. We'll give you credit for it, man. I never, you know, uh, we basically want to do this show to help people out. You know, we want to help ourselves out, of course. I mean, you know, and, you know, we want to get noticed, man. We have a lot to talk about. You know, we're part of the gaming community. We want to bring you some fun and some entertainment. So, I mean, that's basically what it's all about, man. So, uh, and everything here is just real. Glock says, ah. And this show, this this show is an alcohol-free show, so there's no way we're gonna be drinking any alcohol on this show. Okay? It's popcorn. It is popcorn. That is Look great. At, my yeah. wife got this for me for Christmas as a joke. Look. That is awesome. I'm close, man. It looks just like, hey, check out my look at my Coors Light bottle. Yeah. Look at that. Dude. That's funny, bro. That is hilarious. All right, That's Andrew. Hilarious. Listen, bro, Andrew, we need you to leave in uh, 10 seconds. I'm going to call Rusty. We're going to get him in here, okay, Andrew? I know he hears me. He's, he's listening, so. All right, Andrew, bye. Let's call Rusty. Now, guys, the screen's going to mess up just a little bit for a few seconds yep. until Rusty can join. And there he is. I hope he's in the right place. Rusty! Leroy. Hi. <laughs> What's up, Leroy? What's up there, Leroy? Is he in the right place? I don't know. Did no. he sit down in the right chair? I think he sat down in the right chair, did he? Huh? I have no yeah, clue how this thing works. Well, yeah, he sat in place perfect, dude. I told you, dude. He's there. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. There we go. No, no we, we got a goof it's, up on no, the... No, it's there. Watch it, nerds. No. There it goes. It's fixed. Oh, there it goes. It's there. Awesome. It's there. It takes a second. Hey, Remember, Twitch... That was a little... That was a little kinky. Come Listen, on, that's... Twitch is like 30 seconds behind. Literally, it's... It's ridiculous now. So, I had to pay attention to your voice. All right, voice. so Ooh, what's man. up, Rusty guys, man? What's going on? Tell everybody, much, you know, man. who you are, why you're here, and... <laughs> Why I dragged your ass in this I show. Still, 
I, I have no idea why I'm here. Um, <laughs> other other than other than I you know, we got that going on. Um, no, I am Freaks. Falcon 1974, and uh, I I love the game, man. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I was telling. Let people. me ask you this. Um, uh, yeah, about the 365 days. Yep, yep. 364, oh, God. whatever. I wanted to talk Black about how that. How many calories? Did this? you get a thumb transplant? A thumb transplant? No. No, <laughs> I mean, man. How, They're still working. Do you have, like, uh, what do they call that when your fingers all get all messed up? Arthritis and shit? Uh, yeah. Do you got that? Yes. Oh, yeah. God. Did you do a oh, workout yeah. before starting to play in games? You know, like the... Thumb throttle. I mean, the thumb wrestling. I don't. You know, I don't, the, the, yeah, fu I don't. the funny part about that, like a lot of people think that I actually played that game like every day for a year, and that's not really the case. Like I would just go on marathon runs where I'd have I'd have a good night, and I would uh, record all that gameplay, and then I'd have stuff stored up for like a week. So then I just make videos for like a week, week and a half. Don't you love not Elgato even touch the game for, that? for another week or so? Isn't Elgato yep. awesome for that, bro? You just hit that record button and you're done. It processes, it saves in a file. You can take it later and do what you gotta do. I love it, dude. Exactly. I love it. I love exactly. It, I, love I it. absolutely so, love. So let's now, let's Rusty uh, on the Elgato. Let's open it up here for Rusty, man. Um, you know, Rusty, I wanted you to come on the show because you bring a lot. You know, you brought a lot to YouTube last year, and you had a lot of great things to talk about. I mean, I can't. Even, I mean, you did one every day. I can't even keep up with it, honestly. Um, but I did manage to watch so many of them, and uh, you know, that's why I kind of wanted you on the show. We got this whole console war topic deal going on here, you know. And I know you're you're big into gaming. Um, I don't know as far as what you're. You know, because it's kind of, I don't know if it's almost kind of biased that we're all Xbox players here. I mean, I, me, I have both consoles and I play both consoles and I have loved Sony my whole entire life. And, you know, Xbox, I love Xbox. So, you know, you're here and you're a gamer. So let's, let's pick up on this. What is like this whole idea of console war? What is your whole idea? Just in a nutshell. I think, I think console war is stupid. Stupid? Uh, for what? That's what I, I say. I think it's stupid. If you play the games you like to play, and that's all there is to it. Like, I've been playing a lot of PC games lately, too. You know, so I don't game just on my console. I'll game on my PC just as well. I play stupid games on my phone. You know, it's <laughs> I'll play a game on what I like to play a game on. That's all there is to it. So I don't care if it's a phone or if it's a PlayStation, if it's the Wii U, whatever. You know, I've got a Wii sitting in the, you know, in the living room as well. So I, I'll sit there and play that, too. I can remember I back, care. but I think you and your wife were on the Wii for a while, weren't you? You guys were doing a little something, right? No, we did that. We were playing with that Connect. We did that ah. Connect Fruit Ninja thing. We I did, did that the thing. Connect yeah. thing. But I mean, you know, I like the Connect. I love yeah, their cool with the that wife. Funny. It's cool with the wife, but it's it's like okay, I I, I like this type of music, but I'm not going to blare it going down the road. <laughs> like, right. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I'm not going to tell my friends about it. it. Religiously. It's like, hey, I, I, I you know, I kind of did this, you know, just big, ugly chick, but you don't want to tell your friends about it. <laughs> you know, when this the is ugly, a family you know, you know when the ugly lights, when, when, when the ugly lights go on at the club at 430 or whenever people have last call, you know, ugly lights come on and you're like, <laughs> don't tell yep. nobody. <laughs> yep. All right, so vibe. You the whole some, console war thing. Yeah, the console war. Go ahead. Keep going with it. So right now, for me, like I'd, I can't say who won, who lost, all that kind of stuff because, you know, they both have their following. They were both they were both selling out. They were both out there, and a lot of people are pointing to, well, the Xbox wasn't selling out. You could always find one if you wanted to really find one out there, and I think they just made more. I don't know. You know, we don't have sales figures in other than I think they did say that the Wii U sold more than Microsoft did. Did it really? That Nintendo actually sold more units than Microsoft in December. Yeah. Um, I remember reading something about that. But I think that has something to do with the fact that people don't want to shell out $400, $500 for that system. And you're able to get a Wii U for like 300 bucks, and you got a couple games with it. Right. Right. You know? So you got those parents that are like, oh. You know, hey, you know, you're going to get a couple games. I don't have to shell up for another controller. You get some games with it. I don't have to buy more games. Okay, here you go. And Easy that's station. what my parents did when I was a kid, you know. 
do you do you think it's uh, got the right to be called the easy station? I mean, in all honesty, uh, younger kids play. Some young kids have faster hand-eye coordination than us old guys. That's for sure. Oh, but for the most yeah. part, you know, you'll never see me get a nuke or a chem strike or anything like that. No way. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm not that good anymore. But I mean, um, there's no way. I mean, there's more to it than just Easy Station, too. I mean, if you open up the console side by side, you can see that that Sony has the internal, a better, you know, they got the gold platinum edition underneath that damn thing. You know, when you open that up, you're opening up a trunk full of gold. You know what I mean? I mean, literally, the possibilities for Sony's there, what? but there's a limitation now with Xbox, right? I mean, there's let me ask be... you this: the 360, the 360 had what a 47 percent failure rate. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. So was, what do you huge. think the Xbox One will be? Well, I think I mean, we would have already heard reports, actually. I think well, we would have know, heard some stuff already. Because they didn't test they didn't test the 360 like they did the Xbox One. Like they're saying that the Xbox One was built specifically to stay on for ten years. Not <laughs> just work for ten years, to stay on. Like, they heat sinked the hell out of that thing just to make sure that the heat would go away because that was the big thing with the with the 360. That's why they would red ring most of the time. The the solder joints would break mm-hmm. on them from, there, from overheating oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So they would yeah. crack I and then you'd have those. Yeah. 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 The the towel wrapping. I was telling him you take that. You put some washers underneath the board. My first <laughs> yeah. original Xbox, just the beta brick looking thing before it was 360 and all that shit, just the regular Xbox, it fried on me. I'd already <laughs> had PlayStation. Oh, gee, I still have one of those. I, I got rid those of mine. Those two that there. The original the Xbox. Is- I have an original Xbox One, not the Xbox, you know, O-N-E, but the first Xbox. I've still got one of those hanging around. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there he goes. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, those, those right. Xboxes up there have been uh, fixed for the red ring, and the top one is actually a modded Xbox, so I can download and play illegal games. Hacker! (laughs) But you didn't really hear me say that, because I don't do it. I I keep my Xbox over here. Hacker! But uh, I had Black Ops 2 two weeks early. My original Xbox is used for playing arcade games now. That's what I use my original Xbox for. Just plays arcade games, nothing else. But uh, console war stuff. I think that I think that there was some craziness going on um, a little early, like before everything launched. Like Sony and Microsoft were getting into it, and uh, I don't know. I I feel Sony was very childish with how they went about things, like especially with the game sharing stuff that they pulled at E3. You know, making that commercial and then releasing it, and they're like, "Here is how you share a game," and they just hand it to a guy. Um, it kind of felt like that was real childish, you know, and then Microsoft was just all, you know, when Sony released their product, they just put out a tweet that said, congratulations on a successful launch. And they were like total gentlemen about it. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I know. Uh, to me, I think console wars are, you know, same thing. I'm just like, I think it's dumb. You know, I guess me, I've just grew up around consoles my whole entire life. You know, I was talking about that with Vibe. You know, the first gaming experience I ever Flag had was Pac-Man at a bar and grill when I was a little kid with my folks, and it was a flat panel, switched down <laughs> Pac-Man game that you could put your drink right up on top. Tabletop. Of Tabletop. You yeah, know, those things are worth like $2,600 <laughs> if they work right now. I mean, that's not a lot, yeah. but that's a lot that's what for that antique That's Pac-Man. a lot for an old-ass antique game. Yeah. I wish they and had they, one. They, they make new ones. Yeah, you can get refurbished. They make or... new ones now, too. Yeah, yeah, you can get a stout. No, they're actually, too. uh, yeah, they, they're making new ones that come with, like, Ms. Pac-Man and Galaga. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the, the the stuff that's in my Samsung Galaxy 3? Can you imagine, you know, this compared to that thing back then? Wow. Hey! I got one, too. Yeah, this is this is more powerful than what was on what was sent to the moon. <laughs> yes, is Think that about not that. something? There's, it there's is more computing it power is. in this than what was sent to the moon. I remember when you could get a 256 kilobit memory card, memory chip, whatever for your computer. Remember back then, 256. Yes. So you put two of them together, you got 512, and you're like, I'm moving now, baby. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. I can play Wolfenstein <laughs> all day. Yes, and, and with Duke Nukem. Oh my gosh! Yes. 
Good game. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to find that, bring Doom, that back Doom, for Throwback Doom, Thursdays one of these Doom, times. Doom you know what you need to do? You need to find a game called Wasteland. I don't know if you've ever heard of Wasteland. it, but it's a uh, Wasteland. It's a, like a role-playing type um, Dungeon and Dragon type game. It's pretty fun. Glock PC, I actually uh, put up Doom yesterday. My, Ooh. It's funny you guys talk about role-playing games because one of my favorite was Breath of Fire Ooh. for Super Nintendo. It was my favorite. Oh, I never played that. It was it was my favorite quest role-playing game, you know what I mean? And it was so much fun <laughs> because I liked it, and at the time, you know, Final Fantasy wasn't as good as it was up to it hit PlayStation, you know, because of my favorite Final Fantasy was 7 and 8. Those are my two favorite ones. But Breath of Fire. See, I never played any of those. You never played any? Oh, man. Final, yeah. Final Fantasy No, VII see, I was, I was a Sega guy. Oh, yeah. Well, I So, like, I've been on. I had Sega. I had, I had the Sega. Genesis, so I played Fantasy Star. Oh, So Fantasy I played Fantasy Star. Star. That was. Those were the games that I played because that's what they had on their side. You know, that was their number one game as far as RPGs and stuff like on that. So Sega, that's what I played was Fantasy Star. On Sega, I was playing, like, football and boxing games. I was playing Buster Douglas. You know, then I was playing Joe. Oh, Montana dude, Buster football. Douglas boxing was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> they they had that game, I think, ready to roll like thirty minutes after he won the belt. Yeah. They're like, oh shit, dude knocked out Mike Tyson. We better make a game right now. <laughs> I mean, I uh, pretty sure that's how that all went down with Sega. You know, I had a long road. All right, with, Rusty, uh, let's. I, I I had a long road with gaming, man. I had, you know, there was the Atari. Uh -huh. I had the Adams computer. I had, you know, I played Pong. You know, I had the Game Boy, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, the Slim, the PlayStation, the PlayStation Slim, the PlayStation Two, PlayStation Two Slim. <laughs> you know, had the Xbox, but it fried, so went back, got the PlayStation Three, <laughs> and then Yellow Light of Death, and then got the Slim, and then I had the Xbox afterwards. Nice. Let me tweet out something. I never got quick. into the GameCube. I never got into the Sega Saturn. I never got into the 64. I know. Don't. Yeah, see, me. I had the 64 and the GameCube and stuff like that. And I, I, I will play Mario Kart all day. <laughs> I, I never sit there played play any of those. Friggin' like Mario Kart on my N64. I'll sit and play that all day, dude. I was more into it's Castlevania and Zelda back in those days. I love Zelda, man. I played Great. every Zelda. Yeah, so, yeah, Zelda was cool, too. I still, every now and then, I go back. I still got my Nintendo. I got the Gold Edition Zelda, and I go back and I'll play that thing, dude. Nice. Oh, it's so much fun. And it's like the original is the right, best let's... one, dude. The original was the best out of all of them because it was just so much fun to see what you could find and get and unlock and... You know, and then and then you knew all the maps, and then you knew where everything was at. You knew what grenade you could put a grenade over here and blow a hole up the side of a mountain, walk in there, and either lose everything yep. or get everything. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was like such the best, man. Hey, I always Falcon. had to go to friends' houses to play the NES. Oh, I used to that's love all of my do. my friends. Like I had friends that were into Metroid, and that's all they would play. I had friends that were into like Contra. And we, I'd go there and play Contra, yes. with him, dude. Or, or I had a buddy who was had every Mega Man, played every Mega Man. I'd go over there just to play Mega Man with him, dude. And me, I had goofy games on Nintendo like Gilligan's Island and and uh, I did. Uh, oh, I got Ducktales and I got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Back to the Future games. I don't know, kind of weird. Yeah. Kind of games. I bet you were like Raphael, weren't you? No, Michelangelo. Michelangelo all the way. Oh, I love Michelangelo. Well, well, <laughs> all of them, man. All right. So, Rusty, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Let me change the subject on you yeah, real quick, Glock. But we're going to talk about um, your deciding factor in purchasing an Xbox One or a PS4. Would it have anything to do with the fact that you can watch porn on the PS4? You can watch porn on the Xbox. Can you? Uh, you can. I heard you couldn't. Internet Explorer works just fine to me. Uh, wow. Yeah, I didn't I, know you that. You can't do it on the 360. It wouldn't let me even find porn on a 360. I read that uh, say PS4 too loud. users watch three times more porn than Xbox One users. Wow. I wonder I'd, if it's because it's free. Probably because the interface, is, the interface is clunky when it comes to using uh, Internet Explorer on the Xbox One. I'll say that much. 
Would you but, rather yeah, fumble through clunkiness? Would you rather fumble through clunkiness while trying to watch porn, or would you rather have a swift, quick search? My my computer is like ten <laughs> feet away. You know. Ah, there you go. Keyboard, mouse, done. What does it work here can work over here. <laughs> yes. Word. What about this? What do you think uh, about the uh, U UMG? Is what it was the Philly that got swatted? Oh, the the swatted? event. Were they all playing on Xbox Ones? No. Uh, from what I know, I think that they're running. I think they're running 360s right now. Wow. Um, for for league play, I think that's been the way that's been going for uh, for a while. Like because things like the scuff controllers aren't out yet. They don't have. Ah. Uh, you know, the control freaks just came out for. They, uh, they, they got to have their for they, Xbox they, they One. They got to have their legit modded controllers and stuff to play their game. Like, come on, right. what would we do with with that kind of stuff back in the day? Let me. Let me ask, do you think Microsoft will uh, implement a controller like Scuff and make it their own? No. I mean, that would be the no, smart thing to do, wouldn't it? I it mean, would you've be got the to smart think. Thing to do. Why not give yourself or your, your, your people who are buying your product more opportunity to play the game better? Why not create that controller? They, they think that, you know, what they created is the way to play the game. That's why. You know, they don't see anything wrong with the way they did it. Otherwise, you know, why not just put the buttons on the back to begin with? Do you think scuff controllers are a hack or a cheat? And we're going to talk about this next week. It's going to be part of our topics next you know, week. But what, what do you makes think it, about it? I, what makes it a hack and cheat is, you know, when you start using a, a rapid fire. <laughs> but you can buy a rapid fire controller yeah. at Best Buy, okay, or you can make one. And, and what gets me. So I have a scuff. The first time I heard about scuff, I didn't know that it would ever go as far as me. got a modded a pro, controller. A pro circuit or whatever the hell they want to call it. Okay, their little sport yeah. dream, sport nation. Um, but it's like, you know, if, if you're that skilled, then why do you need some controller? I, I don't get it. I mean, it, it, shouldn't it all be, yeah. you know, I don't get it. So now you've got Falcon, to I don't agree with you on that. I, I, don't, I don't understand how, that. How was the... How was the learning curve for the uh, scuff? For using these, it's easy because your wow. finger's back. You have double paddles on each side? Yes. This is this is the animal, right? So this is A, B, X, Y. Yep. You never. So they've the... actually got four on the bottom that they can do now. Or you could you could have it so that if you wanted it to be the bumpers, you could have it configured to do that too. How do you, you configure know, so this? You got to plug it into your PC. No, this is just just comes this way. So this is just A B X Y. You tell them when you oh. order it what you want it to be, right? So, so your buttons the on the top do nothing too. now. What's that? Your right. buttons then on you the top wouldn't have do to nothing. Use this at all. Right. So now, you wouldn't I have to use there it. Was... it still works. Why is there feedback? Now, dude, don't they make a con yeah? Don't they make a controller? <laughs> still there. That's you. I don't think it's me. I don't think it's me. Bob, it's it I, don't, I can plug some headphones in. Hang on. Down. I don't think it was my controller. It's not powered. Nope, still happening. I don't know. Maybe me. It's Damn. the scuff controller. No, it's not the scuff controller. Let me grab some headphones. That way that'll stop some shit. All right. It's kidding. all right. Guys, We I told you in the stream earlier that it's going to be a bumpy We're road. Kinky. We're getting kinky here. Kinky. Hey, we almost didn't get Rusty in the show. He was thankful enough to haul ass over here. Yeah. You didn't get a speeding ticket flying home, did you, Rusty? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I'm good. I'm still here. Where am I? All right, my I'm question good. was... I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't my know, question was: Don't they make a con don't they make a controller that uh, it's, it's a by scuff that when you hit the LB back button or whatever you automatically uh, crouch fire? Not that I know of. They they may have in the past, but they don't anymore. Um, they had a drop shot they, button. Yeah, they, they don't do that anymore because with them being like sanctioned and being good with like MLG and stuff like that. They, they want to be in good graces and stuff like that. So what that's doing is that's combining, like, multiple different things. So, like, you know, the drop shot stuff, they don't want that in there. You know, they, well, they don't want to be able to, to have it do that. So, you know, all they do they're is trying they're, to just, be legit. Got, they're trying to be legit. You know, there's no rapid fire scuff, that kind of thing. You know, they've just got the paddles on the bottom and the trigger stops on the top. 
So, and if you haven't used trigger stops before, they're amazing. Well, I don't need trigger stops. When I hit my trigger button, it's auto fire. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I don't. I don't see the purpose in Call of Duty Four. I don't see the purpose in a, oh, in a the controller MK14 like that. Oh, the MK14 back in Call of No. It was the MG MK MJ30. What was that? MG30. What was that? What in World single at fire War game from Call of Single? No, Call of Duty Four. The single fire gun. Oh, uh, uh, single fire <laughs> gun. Um, MK14. MK14. Was. Was it or no? That's too long ago. Was, That's seven years ago. I don't. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's the M14. I know that it's a single fire. No, it's not, single fire. no, that one rose up too much. There was another one. There was another gun. Uh, the SK or some. Nah, we'll figure it out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You're you're. We'll figure it out. We'll talking to me out. seven years ago. Future future conversation for next week's <laughs> podcast. What is by the way? Next week we're talking about some good stuff. So next week. Uh, next week we're gonna have lost in place. Um and uh nice. it's, it, you know you know basically you know what he does so that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about Booster, boosters and why people got to you know try so hard you know why why, why you got to put some try hard pants on and and you know boost I mean, but anyway that's you know that's going to be next week's topic so it should be a fun show that's for sure dude but uh five ain't you got a couple more topics we were talking about earlier. Uh oh, we still good? Yeah, we're still good. You're still there. Um, there's a uh, my mini fridge. When it cuts off, the compressor cuts off. It throws a little shock through all my electric shit. Oh my god! My router cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fix Time to that. unplug that. You gotta unplug that. What happened to the vibration? Show. He caught on fire one night during the last stand podcast. <laughs> 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 Let me ask you this. Uh, we'll change the subject up again. Um, this might have a little something to do with console wars because I know so close to Toast did not have the Xbox One yet, right? He was looking to get it, but then all of his stuff has been stolen. Oh, wow, what do you yeah. Think about that? that was That's crazy, dude. I feel I bad for the guy. That sucks, you know. You get all your stuff stolen, everything like that. I mean, and it's, it's crazy, too, because they left some stuff. Like I saw, you know, his, the picture he sent out. Like they left, they left really nice studio monitors sitting there. The his speakers, mm-hmm. and uh, they, they left like, like, a, like they left an Insonic. Uh, it looked like it was an Insonic synthesizer as well. They left that sitting there too, and those are not cheap. You know, anything from Insonic is not cheap. So it, it looks like they knew what they were going in for when they got there. They were just going for his computer, and they were going for his recording gear, and that was it. Right. No, so, block. I hope he gets it back. Never mind. You know, hope he gets his stuff I back. Do, I do too. Hey, oh, then what know, I want to ask Glock, do you mind if I post the link uh, to support him in our chat? No, we go no, go ahead. He's part of our family. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Right, Andrew, if you can find find me that link uh, that came tweeted out for us, please, so we can just put it in our chat. You know, everything we can do for other gamers is good, especially somebody so nice like Toast. Toast is I mean, a hell of a nice guy, man. He's a hell of a nice guy. So, um, Rusty, what happened to uh, Monday uh, Monday Mandates or whatever Mandate Mondays? What happened to that show, man? Mandate Mondays. All right. So, what Mandate ended up happening Mondays. was uh, it just after we d- we did it for a year. Right. So we did it for a year straight. Um, every Monday, you know, rain or shine, it didn't matter. You know, if I was out of town, Glove took over and did it and everything like that. Just logged into my account and took care of everything. And uh, after a year, we just got burned out. You know, we took a couple of weeks off and then we came back and it just didn't have the same vibe and stuff like that. It's not like we hated each other. It's just, you know, like well, we did it for a year. What do we do now? You know, and uh, we just left it at that. You know, because stuff Been there, done that. Me was, you know, was really, uh, yeah, did stuff for work was really changing for me, too. Yeah. And, uh, like tonight, you know, I, I work late now, so it's not like I work early anymore. It's not, I'm not working eight to five. My, my, I'm actually shifted over by like two and a half hours, so I don't get out of work until, you know, six thirty, seven o'clock at night, and it tends to mess things up. Right, right. So, and, you know, Stuff with uh, <laughs> stuff with my woman, you know, she's got school and stuff, and I'm taking care of our dog and all that kind of thing. It's just, you know, life's got to happen first, so I put life first. 
Amen. Nothing wrong with that, bro. We kind of did with the drug sex podcast. You know, the show, we love the show, but we did it for a year or two. We went, I think, 56 shows, 54 shows. Something like that. uh, We'll come back strong with it, but, you know, we got to do something different. For me, it was very stressful, which, Glock, you're about to find out. Every night, setting up the stream, making sure your guest is there, making sure you've got everything right, making, hoping your computer don't crash, making sure the yep. kids aren't upstairs watching Netflix. Hey. The wife's got her cell phone on looking at Netflix. I mean, I'm not know, worried about that. Nobody. To, you know, Facebook and stuff. And Nobody here watches Netflix. It's just me and the wife. There's nothing else. Not you're, worried about it. You're about to you're about to feel my pain, bro. So yeah. we 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 took a break from that. God, it's a well deserved break too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't so hate long, the show. I just got bored with it. A, I was on a few of those. So. Yeah, you were. I was yeah, on a few a of those. Time. That was some, that was a good time. Yeah. Now on this, I got burnt out. The nice though. thing about it is, Glock calls me and I jump on and he's handling everything. All I got to do is sit here and look good. <laughs> yeah, well, you're handling you're you're handling logistics of the topic, bro. So if it's console wars, your job is to go round up some topics. My job is to be the host. I want. I, want, I also want to make this happen. We need to do a hashtag LSP topics, and we need to get it uh, trending. Uh, somehow, you know, our our fans are part of the show as well. We want to uh, find out and ask questions. Uh, have you ask questions to us? So I don't know. I'm gonna let Glock or Andrew handle that. Yeah. Uh, well, to monitor the questions, but yeah. we want to start that and get it going. So if you guys have a question you want to ask us uh, that we can talk about in the pre-show before we open up the chat, um, we'll do it. But you guys got to you got to tweet them out. So uh, Andrew, make sure you take care of that. I know you're watching. By the way, if you guys don't know, yeah. Andrew underscore GVN is our manager. Y'all can yeah, sit in the that has to pee right now too. So go for it, bro. <laughs> She wants to know if I was watching it, so, you know, we'll throw that out there. <laughs> oh. oh, it's all good. God, I love it. It's all good. God, I love it. Mm. Mm. So I heard you saying you had a not-so-fun New Year's, huh? My New Year's was wow. great. Apparently, it was great. I watched my Twitch highlights, and I got a couple of them on YouTube, <laughs> and uh, apparently I cussed out yeah. this guy, and then I puked. I got a voicemail, too. I got two voicemails. He only put up one of them. The, the second one was pretty bad. I chipped a tooth on New Year's Day. I know. I that, saw that. that. My New Year's Day. Like, like my holidays. My holidays have been shitty. Uh, like not from a oh, crap. Uh, plug that back in. Um, so I chipped my tooth on New Year's Day. On Christmas Day, my heat went out. Oh. And it's been cold up here. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching like ESPN at all with uh, the whole Packer game and stuff like that, but it's supposed to be the coldest day of the year. Oh, wow. In like Sunday? 10, 15 years coming up it's on like Monday. like 12 degrees? Yeah, it's supposed to be negative four at kickoff. What? Yeah, it'll Who's be negative four at kickoff. Who's going to kick it? Who's going to break his foot? He's going to break his foot. He's going to break his foot. It makes me think of Mr. Deeds. <laughs> Deeds with the black, <laughs> with that black foot, the black, the black foot. foot. Yeah. Yes, I love that sneaky, guy. Awesome, sneaky. awesome actor. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's been it's cold. Chill. Like it, I, w- I went to work this morning. It was uh, actually I went to the dentist for the broken tooth first, um, and it was negative uh, six outside. Oh my god! Waking up this morning, so that was. That was cold. Oh my god! I had sex with the wife. I got home. She had to stay here and watch the eleven-year-old, so she didn't get to come out with me. And she was texting me all night. You better be ready as soon as you get home. You better be ready. I got the outfit on, and I'm like, you, all right. You got warm, huh? Be ready. You got nice and warm. So I got home. Next thing you know, I'm in the middle of my shit, and uh, my phone's going off. Beep beep beep. You got a message. Next thing you know, Glock's calling me. You got a voicemail. Dude, I don't remember. And, uh, I don't remember. I checked it. After the ball I, dropped, I don't I remember. And I came downstairs for two minutes, and I, I listened to it, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to make a video of this, and by the time I got around it next day, you had already done it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's thanks to Andrew. Andrew highlighted the, the stream. Uh, but, yeah, I was. I don't remember. After the ball dropped, 
I don't remember. Apparently, I'm a beast gamer when I'm completely blacked out drunk. I don't, you know, people are <laughs> I'm a they beast gamer, bro. I'm a beast Did gamer. You watch the gameplay back? Yeah, I'm a beast gamer, dude. <laughs> I can't. I can't play when I've been drinking. I don't remember. I cannot play. The only way I can play. I don't remember. We were drinking for a while, and then we started playing. We started playing Just Dance, so we were doing that. <laughs> we Just were playing Dance. That game. That was, nice. That was that was crazy. That was crazy fun. I recorded. It records clips of you playing while you're doing it too, right. so you can look at them afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I made sure to record one of my woman, and uh, where she was dancing, and I posted that online. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's somewhere in my Twitter. That's somewhere in my Twitter feed of her doing this crazy dance to Nicki Minaj, which is hilarious. I'm gonna have to. Uh, so that's on the 360, right? It's on the 360. It's on the Xbox One, PlayStation, Wii U. It's on all all of them right now. Yeah. Nice. Now you guys know my wife. She's shy. She don't like to get on camera. She's been on maybe twice over the year of DSB. I might have to trick her into doing that with the uh, <laughs> Connect. <laughs> That's the way to go. Funny. She'll never know. That would be pretty you funny. just share it out right from the game and throws it out on Twitter. There you go. I'll be like, hey, honey, make sure you white wife beater so it'll, you know, <coughs> you can move freely. Yes. Ah. <laughs> so, Rusty, how's your oh, experience been with Call of Duty so far this year? Hate Call it. of Duty ghosts. You hate it? Which, what, why? Why? I hate it. Give me three it's reasons, too, real fast. Too sl too slow. Maps are too big. IED. I can okay, see IED one, sometimes. I can't see them all the time now. I'm gonna argue with you a little bit. The maps are it's too slow. You mean the gameplay is too slow? What the about the revenge kill? Too, oh, when they spawn the behind gameplay, you. Now is the that game slow? The gameplay seems too slow because because <laughs> almost any game you get into, most of them don't go to full counts that I've been playing as far as team deathmatch they go full time what no, what is it with team deathmatch uh, going you, to time that drives me what nuts what type of lobbies are you getting into wow we haven't gone yeah, when I, we party up we never go full time it's 75 to 10 in like 5 minutes <laughs> yeah, i get it's 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 time almost every time where it's like especially on the bigger maps like stonehaven and uh, siege is another one like i hate siege i think that's the worst map you, they've ever put out there do you think it's because there's so many snipers and the running gunners are afraid to move around the map because of the snipers? No. No, I don't think so. Let me it's, ask you I, this. Do you think that if uh, they make the game, they should have, like, a sniper nest where only the snipers can see only other snipers? So the people who are running and gunning, like, you know, down in the town whatnot, they, they're they not in the line of sight. Would that make the game better if they were to make a map or two like that? <laughs> Let the snipers fight it out they all they want. I think that if uh, snipers, like I have this whole thing with snipers and shotguns, I, I do not mind them in the game. Okay, I think if you get hit by a sniper rifle, you should die. Like it's it's always been my thing. If you get hit by a sniper rifle in real life, that is a one hit kill. You're pretty much dead. If you get hit by a shotgun at close but, range, that's a one hit kill. You should be dead. But you know, but. You shouldn't be able to run around with a 80-pound sniper right. rifle, 50-pound sniper rifle, pull it up, shoot somebody real quick. Right, and I agree and I with that. I think they're trying to correct that. They did add some ADS time to uh, the sniper rifle, but I don't know how much. It was like .003 or something. Yeah, but it did make a difference in quick scoping. More. Yes, I, I yeah, agree. I, I'll have to check that out. So, Do you find it? Do you find it? Do you find it? I don't mean to cut you off. Do you find it? Like, compared to Black Ops 2, or maybe even MW3, I mean, the whole friend playing with friends, man, because I find it difficult. <laughs> as, <laughs> yeah, Lagging. I don't know if it's, if it's lag, but it seems like people are dashboarding now. It makes me feel like Call of, Call of Duty 4 now. You remember back in Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 5, when somebody leaves? That's it. There was no host migration. And that seems to be what's going on a you lot know. with Ghost right now. See, I haven't had that on Xbox One. Um, it's just I don't have a lot of people who have ghosts for Xbox One. So I've been pretty much playing solo. You know, So when I'm in there, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. And it seems that the dedicated servers are there. All right, what, what, is, what are those servers? Are they the uh, – I forget what the name of them. I know they're not cloud servers. I mean, I know they're based off cloud servers, but 
Um, I think the Xbox One has Azure a totally different. Yeah. What is it called? Azure. Azure. Okay, A-Z-U-R-E. I knew. I knew I had it right. I was saying Azura. That's how like I was saying. Downloader, isn't it? <laughs> That's what it sounds yeah, like. So it's the Azure cloud servers, and it's it's all right. You know, I I haven't had any issues with it. I've actually moved on. Um, I play Call of Duty maybe like once, twice a week. I've been more into Battlefield lately. I've been playing a lot of that. Right, right. I tried playing I've been, Battlefield. I've been, I've been digging the Battlefield. It shot on so 360. No, Battlefield, is it? I thought you, it was slow and the maps are huge. With that game. Well, yeah. see, there's a, they, see, I feel Battlefield is a different game, though, because the maps vehicles. are made huge on purpose because there's vehicles. Yeah, you know. And planes, so, yeah. And they also, give you, they also give you an hour to complete the game, you know. So you know going in that this is going to be something that you're going to be in there for a while for. You know, Team Deathmatch is, is a smaller area of the same map that they give you, and it just goes to 100 kills. So it's always to 100 kills, you know, to get that going. But you have an hour to do it. So you're always going to get to your kill limit. Yeah. Real quick, Rusty. Better game, Call of Duty Ghosts or Battlefield 4? Battlefield 4. Well, there you go. I got to say, I do like Battlefield 4, but it, it took a shit on me with the 360. For some reason, the net coding's <laughs> bad, bro. It is bad on 360, yeah. man. And there's articles all about it, dude. they fixed it. I've been told they fixed it recently. Like, there's been a really big patch that came out for the 360. So, I don't know if it. Yeah, if it's a couple guys patch, I know like, that play the... it religiously. Yeah, I yeah, got it three... yesterday or the day before. Really, for Battlefield Four? No, for uh, Xbox, the dashboard. Right. Oh, I haven't first. logged on in two days. I don't know. Oh, I have It was yesterday, day before. I don't know. I haven't been on since yesterday. Yeah, they were fixing. They were fixing some. What's stuff that noise? The Feedback. That kind of stuff. So. Feedback. I don't Say know something. Hello. Talk to me. Hello. I hear it. I like how he gets closer to find out if there's feedback. I know. Like, what do you? Yeah, I, I was getting my. I... <laughs> Look, I put my headphones on the blue snowball. Say something. Hello. No. See, it's not yeah, me. It sounds like it might be. I don't know. It's. I got headphones it's on with shit. a microphone. I don't know what, what it is. Is your stream turned down? Yeah. Are you watching the stream? Is it turned down? Yeah, it's turned down. Is bro. it turned off? Is it muted? It's muted, muted and everything. It's muted and everything. See? Still going. Hold on. Let shit me fix happens. this shit. Hold on. Let me fix this shit. Hey, Glock, turn that Funny. shit down. No! Fuck you, asshole! God. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to fix that. What a fucking dickhead, dude. See this guy? Don't be screaming at me. We'll fucking double charge you rent. Fuck out of my basement, even though I'm Florida gonna, don't have I'm basements. Gonna throw something. I'm gonna throw something at you next time. No. <laughs> um, we gotta figure out why we're having this problem. I don't hear it right now. I do. Glock, do you hear it? I don't hear it. I hear it for a second. Oh, there it is again. I think your Batman senses are picking up. Let me try that again. Huh? Let me. Um, I know we're not communicating with the people in the stream real quick, but you guys are watching. If you can hear a whistle or a feedback, just say yes. Oh. Yeah, if you guys can hear the whistling, whatever going on, I hear it, dude. Wow, that's yeah, I hear it too. that's feedback from hell. Pull this back. Um, but Make sure. is that better? Let me mute my mic. Let me mute my mic. Is you still there? I don't hear it no more. It's Vibes oh, microphone. <laughs> that would be it. What a tofu bitch. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn it down. Now, is that better? Uh. Check, check one, check two. Can you hear it now? Turn it down a little bit Can more. You hear me okay? You're the loudest one in here. You should turn it down a little bit more anyways. All right, how about now? Is that better? Keep turning it you down. Don't want me to hear it. You may go ahead and mute it. No, man, just turn keep it going. down. Keep going. It's all the way down. There, let me let me change it to adjust my microphone automatically. Now, how about now? Is that better? Might be. Yeah. Nope. It's the power no. of the blues. Still, Still there, there, dude. I can't help it, bro. Let me uh, turn it down. How do you kick this idiot out oh, of the stream? Wow. <laughs> 
Yeah, you don't even know how to kick me out of the stream. <laughs> I don't think you can. Um, pause video, minimize. You can minimize me. I don't know what that'll do. No, I'm not going to minimize you. We just need to figure out why this is doing this. Figure out why this is doing this. Saying? I wonder if your microphone is picking up my voice. I don't know. Might be. Well, is that better? Can you all hear me? I can still hear you. Can you hear me good? Yeah. I don't know if people in the stream can hear me. We might have fixed it. No, they should it. be able to hear you. Right. We may have fixed it. So it was you. I don't know what it was. You got to think. I got Vu going over here with my snowball. Then I got OBS going over here with snowball. So I don't know. Shit happens. I guess. Shit happens. Who knows? Mics are picky. Mics are very picky. So, Rusty, do you have homeowner's insurance? I do. I have to. <laughs> I have to. I'm still paying my mortgage. Got to have it in Wisconsin. God. I feel so bad for Toast. You know, I keep thinking about it every day. And, you know, I've got cameras around the house. I've got this. But what What would you do if, I mean, honestly, if somebody came into your house while you were sleeping and tried to steal your Xbox? God. I guess I'd have to <laughs> deal with it, you know? I'd be like, hey, take the wife. Don't take my Xbox. No. You can have her. Bob, turn yourself I'm up just a little bit. Like the, I'm more worried about all my all my music equipment, really, more than anything. You know? Yeah, I guess Toast lost some of his stuff, too. I offered to send him a hard drive with 60,000 MP3s on it. He never replied to me, but I'm, I, somebody said that he was getting it back. I think Panda said that he was getting some of his equipment back. I don't know. Hopefully the police have uh, got a good lead and they found out what was going on or something. That'd be awesome. Hopefully. I tweeted awesome. him. I said, you know, I said, you could do the, somebody said Cain and Abel, you know, do the Cain and Abel, jump in a game with his gamer tag and uh, get his IP and find out where they are, beat his ass and get your own Xbox too. back or you just let the police know, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, you don't want to <laughs> not do their job, so. If somebody stole my crap, it'd do everything in my power not to beat them. Headphones right quick. Oh. Look at this dummy nerd. Look at this nerd. I'm going to come to his house and write D, a D and a P on each side of his hat. <laughs> Should be good now. Word. Nice. That's why you don't do gaming setup videos. Good point. Why, what happened? What did I miss? Well, <laughs> nothing. Oh man, well, we got a few more minutes before we open up the chat. Talk to anybody in the stream about the whole topics. So, <clears throat> anything we're going up to eleven o'clock tonight, guys? Yeah, eleven o'clock. I myself, I myself, I'm I gotta hop off in about ten minutes here, so take care That's of things around fine. the house. I know I said I was I was able to be on for about an hour or so. That's fine, bro. That's fine. We kind of got, got you. We kind of got you in here of. on. Uh, well, you know, we planned on you being in here, but we didn't plan on you working a different shift than before. And then, you know, you kind of had to rush home to get on here because I was kind of pulling your legs so damn much. Um, but you know, hey, dude, I appreciate you definitely like, coming. So, you know, well, I didn't. I don't need you shooting me the next time I come to Tampa. So, you know? well, let's do this. Uh, we got about. <laughs> no, nah, you're all right, bro. I wouldn't shoot you. I'd just you'll, strangle you. You'll hunt. You'd, you'd hunt me down. <laughs> I'd tie, you know, cement bricks to you and throw you off out in the Gulf. Um, so we got about 16 minutes left. Why don't we just go ahead and open up the chat box? If you guys are watching, man, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, since Rusty's going to take an early leave, let's open up the chat box. If you guys want any questions, you got any questions to ask, want to ask us, chill with us, go ahead and shoot it at us, man, uh, about the whole console war topic. You know, what's your. What's your side on? I mean, if I, if I can go back and just look through the uh, the chat box, you can probably find a few things uh, that people have been talking about. There hasn't but, been a, there haven't been a whole lot of questions or anything like that, other than saying you guys are gay. Well, yeah, yeah we're, we see that. We're always uh, we're now, always Barnacles, gay. Now, Barnacles, Barnacles does mention that um, the nine one one police response time to his house is sixty seconds, but he's on a direct live all time feed through his. $82,000 setup system he has in his room. 
They know exactly what he's doing at all times. So if they see somebody other than him in there naked, man, they come running. <laughs> I want to know why they're watching, why the cops are watching him naked. <laughs> I don't know why either, but they love coming to his house real quick. Oh my god! Oh my god! And they like showing up really quick too. <laughs> there we go. Cops take forever, depending on what neighborhood you live in. Like I, I live in a more of a a little bit richer neighborhood, so they show up pretty quick around here. <laughs> I mean, if we ever do have to Russ, call them over here. I saw Panda Panda's was... question. Now, didn't that happen like a year ago? <laughs> that was like a year ago. It, it is done. It is done. Uh, the whole hallway itself is done. Oh, wow, the, that's the right. The railing is painted. The hallway You were is done. on the show the, while uh, you very, were painting. That's very right. first podcast he joined on ours was painting. And that was like a year yep. ago. Sitting wow. there painting a railing. I've and I found out you were a DJ. I've, I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yep. So I let's see. I've have painted since then. I have painted that the the entire hallway has been done. Floor to ceiling. My daughter's room. The bathroom has been done. It's trying to get this whole place done so I can sell it and get the hell out of here. Right. Yeah. Move closer to my work. I. I live, I live uh, depending upon traffic, 40 to 50 minutes away from where I work. So it's a it's a fun commute every day, and I don't like it. Right, right. Now, uh, what about the housing market where you're from? You know, around here, it, it finally went up the last quarter of last year. Fourth quarter last year, yeah, it's it, finally gone up a little bit. <laughs> so the Milwaukee area, the, the whole Milwaukee area has been okay. As far as that goes, like it's been coming back, um, but the, the city that I live in, which is uh, not Milwaukee itself, uh, has not. So like, my house value keeps going down. Uh, you know, house value goes down, taxes go up. Um, so my home value keeps going down, all that kind of stuff. So it's really hard to sell a place right now where I'm at because all the industry that was here is gone. Like everybody moved out. So, you know, you got a whole big town full of unemployed people that can't get jobs. So who's going to buy a house? Do you think that'll affect the Xbox One sales? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, people need that, of course. You know, they need that. Who cares if you don't have a job? They'll go out and buy that instead. <laughs> hey, Wooly, that's, I thought that's, I gave you much. That's, that's America. Come on, man. America. That's what America does. Um, Speaking of... We don't so, care. I can't pay my I can't pay my bills, but I still have to have my cell phone and my cable TV and my Xbox and you know, yeah, eat out from McDonald's every day. America, America, yeah. America. America. So I I noticed you did some throwbacks on your channel, man. You did uh every where, Thursday. Where is that right echo now, coming from? I don't know. No idea. Don't either. Again with this shit, dude. Hey, Jack. <laughs> I'm hey, telling Jack. you, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. It could be Rusty. It could be us. Who knows? Um, but we'll work it out. We'll work it, it out. It shouldn't like be said, me, so. Because this is the podcast. same setup I've had, so. Um, yeah, I've been doing throwbacks every Thursday now. So ever since Ghost came out, I decided to switch that up once uh, Black Ops 2 was done. So I throw like an old school FPS game up every every Thursday. I did Doom this last week. That was fun. Nice. Yeah, I saw. Actually, I saw that. I need to get into it. Team Fortress Classic. Counter Strike's coming. Do you have a Do you have a Steam account? Yeah. We'll have to play, dude. I'll bust out the medic and I'll bust out the Solly and I will beast on you. Dude, I will cap like you know I can bunny hop and I can conk jump like a beast, man. I had so many videos of me just raping people, getting like 20 caps in a 30-minute game. I mean, nice. of course I die, you know, 20, 30 times. But back then, there was no KD, bitches. Just so you know, yeah. I was PTFOing. Man, we had. And then when I played D on like the map two fort, I was always always a solly at the bottom. Oh, we had some great games. Talk about good gaming back then. Counter Strike was also fun. I was playing football games and sports games during all that whole crap era back in the days. I didn't get into like. I thought you were gonna say you were playing football and shit. I'd be like, you liar. <laughs> no, nah, man. I mean, like, I, I, you know, I've been playing Call of Duty since I remember playing it on PC and shit. But I was more, you know, until 
you know, until 2007, I was more into like the whole racing, fighting, um, you know, role playing games. Dude. I never really got into like shooters, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, I played, you know, like Metal Gear. I was a, you know, every Metal Gear I've played. <laughs> You know, yeah. I do like shit like I that. I haven't played a single. I haven't played a single Metal Gear game. And and uh, Grand Theft, one. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, and shit like that, dude. Nerd. Pretty Let me much. ask you, um, Panda. Panda said Gary's mod. Now that's Counter Strike with a mod, right? Well, Is it's, that what she's it's, talking about? it's a. Uh, you can use Gary's mod with a lot of games on there so like you you have to have like team fortress anything that uses um that uses their uh their engine basically that uses valve's engine right so okay so i mean you can, I have not you can pull it. up all sorts of stuff they had it on steam sale for like 250 <laughs> so you should be you should be able to pull that that'd be pretty cool yeah i, I haven't done it yet for, but oh apparently Apparently, you can do some pretty crazy shit, so. Yeah, Metal Gear is that's, one of the best games. Heard. I just haven't done it yet. I never got into Counter-Strike. I think I played a little SOCOM back in the day on Sony. Whatever happened to that oh, company? God. Whatever yeah, happened to just, SOCOM, dude? There's still a huge spot. People that. play it. Yeah, I still got a buddy who's yeah. been playing it for like, what, six, eight years now. That's crazy. It's, it's crazy to me, people that keep playing games like that for so long. Like, they don't want to give it up. Like, you can still find people who play the original Call of Duty online. It's a very, wow. like, small group of people, of but they're still doing it. <laughs> yeah, they they're still doing it because they feel, it's, <laughs> they feel it's the best one out there. So It probably I is, know. to be honest. I'm sorry. COD 4 is still the best. Hands down, dude. It was the it was simplicity you know, and MW two came out when they all came out with the new games. The only thing I could say every time a new one comes out, why didn't they just keep the old game and just give us a buttload of new maps? That would have been just enough. I mean, think about it. We do it for the maps, right? Well, pretty much, yeah. I, I mean, they so could have they could have done kept Call of Duty four and just done nothing but expansion packs and DLCs. That's it. Two hundred di two hundred different maps. Two hundred maps. You would never play the same map in, like, forever. It, it would no. keep it fresh. No. Well, and that's, you know, at least on the console side, you know, you guys didn't have the map maker. You know, there was, on the PC side, they had all sorts of custom maps for COD 4. That was awesome. Yeah. I used to play on a COD 4 server where I'd have to oh, download wow. new maps every night. You know, yeah, Team we'd have new stuff. It wasn't just the stuff that was there. Same thing with those. Now you could go yeah, to sites that you could stuff. download 30 different maps. As long as you had it when you went to their server or server somebody had it playing, you could play it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. PC gaming awesome has so much, that. so much of. That's of, why know, I can't of, wait to Xbox build my PC soon, man. I cannot wait to get. I want to get into some PC gaming and, you know, broaden the horizons, my options in gaming. So. I don't know. It's we'll fun. see. We'll see. Yo, uh, fun. Rusty. So, what's your plans for uh, for your YouTube channel this year, man? I know you're not doing the 365. So, I mean, like, what are you grow mostly like crazy? You just <laughs> grow like crazy. What What are your What is your focus? Are you up to what now, are man? you focusing on? You know, with with your channel this year. I'm I'm all over the place. Um, <laughs> I do ghosts on Mondays. I do Forza on Tuesdays. Uh, Thursdays I do the throwback games, and on Fridays I do Battlefield. Yeah, you know, nice. so that's, that's you know, pretty think... much where I'm at right now. Nice. One of the you best know, I, things I decided about I was going to just it... spread it out. Yeah, you keep your schedule, you know, all the time, right? I think that's what a lot of people look forward to is like, all right, I can't wait for it. Yeah. Especially your fans. Yeah, I I keep up with it. You know, the uh, my channel is. Falcon 1974A. I, right. I can write it down and put it in front of my screen. Oh, uh, Andrew can uh, put a link down to. in the in the channel or in a yeah in the yes. chat if he wants to. And uh, Andrew, you know if you, channel in the chat. Th this this is also going to be uploaded on YouTube too. YouTube too. So uh, they'll be able to check the links down YouTube. in the description too, man. So they can check you out. So definitely for sure. And uh, yeah, it was sure. nice. I. Uh... <clears throat> 
I don't know if you guys remember, but it was it was this time or just before the end of the year last year in 2012. I said, you know, I I just hit a thousand subscribers at like Christmas 2012, uh-huh. and I was like, you know what, I, I'm gonna hit five thousand by next year. That's that's what I'm gonna hit. And sure as shit, I hit six thousand on New Year's Day. Good job. So, man. You did a really I, good I, job, I, I man. Tweet five ninety nine. Five nine nine nine. I can barely contain myself. I can't. Or something. I can't believe yeah. how so close. Can't believe how yeah. how fast you how, how fast you blew up, dude, in a year. So good you know. for you. I had help. I had help. It wasn't you know all on my own. So I, I we'll lucked out. Actually, got too. I got what I like to call the ultimate shout out the other day. Actually, um, because I've got these stupid videos. Hang on. Hang on a second. Uh oh. What's he up to? Ugh. He's going to jump in a box of kitty litter. What is he doing? So I got these stupid videos on how to make these. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Right? So I made I made my own. Right. There you go. <laughs> Looks great. Right? So awesome. He made more <laughs> of them. This one. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I've got four of them, four different ones. And uh, the first one, this one here... Um, this one has uh, over 75,000 views on it already. Damn. Oh, my God, dude. So That's I sent that cool, over to, uh, to Canton. I sent that after I had all four of them done. I sent that over to, uh, to Candace at Infinity Ward, and she tweeted it out on Infinity Ward's Twitter account. Nice. So she nice. sent that out said, hey, go check this out. And that Cha-ching. video went through the roof. I gained a bunch of subscribers and... Yeah, got awesome. paid. It's always good to get paid for doing the stuff that you do, you know. It's not a not a bad return, you know. It's not a yeah, bad return. No it's kidding. a five dollar five dollar hat. I made much more than five dollars off that now, so it's well worth it. Good for you. Good for you, bro. I'm glad so, you did something, man. Yeah. Glad you did it. Well, don't it's forget. Crazy, like, don't forget about us and your. Shout out videos if you ever yeah, do one. Yeah, the small guys. The small guys. <laughs> I won't check. I won't check your DMs. You'll know what I'm talking about. Check your DM when you're done with this Glock. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, I will. Rusty, real quick before you go, I want you to answer this as fast as you can. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. Hot fudge in the bed or a random banana? Come on. <sighs> man. I can't answer that. That is quick. a slow response. Come on now. You can't Always answer say hot that fudge. quick. <laughs> Who asks these questions? Yeah, it would have to be hot fudge. I don't know. Well, who's I, asked? I, I am the guy in the podcast who asks these questions. No. Yeah, yeah you are. You're a retard. Yeah, that's me. I gotta stay. I gotta stay true and. No. And, and we, what was the word no, original? No. Well, that's a totally different. <laughs> that's a totally different channel. Podcast. Yeah, well, you leave that over there. Ugh. It's a different podcast that you don't do anymore. All right, Rusty, real quick, I know. rage and yell as loud as you can or rage quit? Rage quit. Rage quit. There you go. Rage quit. Never let them see you mad. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Sometimes I just mute then my own. Then they know they got me. So. I mute myself. That's what I usually do. Sometimes I just mute myself so they can't yeah. hear me. I'll go off. You find it better because they gaming, can't argue with you. A lot of times when I'm gaming, my woman is asleep. So I can't yell or I'll oh. wake her up. So and you're then, not a screamer. Then, then, no. No. <laughs> no, I'll just be like, son of a bitch, and I'll mute it, kick out, so... Awesome, bro. So, yep. Well, buddy, I I really do appreciate you coming, man. I'm glad you were able to rush home. I hope, you know, tell the boss I'm sorry. Tell him I'll buy him a six pack or something next time around. You know, tell him we thank him. You know, we thank him for letting you come, and uh, we appreciate you coming and you know chilling with us and talking about this whole console war thing. You know, I think we got a chance to talk about a lot of things, dude. And uh, I'm glad you could have been here, man. So definitely going to keep you in mind for future. Yeah, thanks for being a guest. Yeah, man, definitely. Give you a man. Definitely. We're doing a 365 thing. That was, uh, took a lot. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that ever (laughs) again. Anybody who, like anybody who has ever asked me about doing it, like I got near the end. They're like, do you mind if I do, you know, I do that. And I'm like, um, well, go ahead. I said, but you're going to hate yourself near the end. You know, that's just all there is to it, because 
it, it just came to a point where it's like, I got to get this done because I committed to doing a whole year. And if I don't do a whole year, people are going to call me a fucking loser and all that kind of stuff. I was like, I got to do the whole year. So, and I've seen people Drama try alert. to do it and they quit like 20 days in. So, <laughs> well, man, I, 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 exactly. I it's big commitment, dude. And, uh, I, I be, wish the best of luck to you. I hope you keep growing you know, every day you just been, you know, I've been, like I said, we've been chilling and watching each other for a while anyways. And I, I, I love when I see exactly. people that I've been following, I'm glad to see them moving up and, and doing their thing. You know, I wish I had more time to put into it to kind of grow like that. But <laughs> You know, really don't do. So I don't know. Maybe one day, dude, I don't, don't have know. time either. <laughs> <laughs> what you make it, dude, either. you're on that grind. So guys, if you're watching yeah, in the stream, Go check this man out right here on YouTube. You know, follow him up on Twitter. Uh, you know, links are down in the chat. And, uh, you know, this video will be up on YouTube. So people will be able to check it out then, too. So any little bit helps you out. Rusty, I appreciate you, man. Much love, and thank you for coming, dude. All right. Peace out. Not a problem. Thank you, Rusty. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy, man. Later. Later. Okay, so we need Andrew to join us back real quick. Andrew. Uh, yeah, go ahead and and, uh, go ahead and bring him in here. You bring him in here? Get him in here. Get him in here. I got him. I got him. I'm giving him a phone call right now. Okay. Bring him. There he is. Good shit, Andrew. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, go ahead and leave that up. That Whatever that thumbnail up. So people know who was in here. So, man, that was, uh, hey, that was a, that was a pretty good time. I'm glad Rusty was able to show up, man. He you know, really had a lot to talk about. I knew he would anyways. So, uh, so what'd you guys think in the stream, man? What do you think about show number one? If you have any questions, man, hey, now's a good time to do it. Kick it back for another 30 minutes and, uh, chill with you guys. Cause I know after this vibe says he's going to go pass out. <laughs> Actually, I feel a lot better after drinking, uh, one, two, three, four beverages. I'm not, I'm not at liberty to say what those beverages are, but however, I do feel a lot better. Oh, I told I you to drink some food. of that vitamin C, bro. I told you it would help. Bro, I was about to pass out. I went upstairs right before the show started. I laid down on the bed, and I had my wife fill my forehead and, and to see if I had a fever, and I'm hot. I got the chills. It was all I could do not to climb under the – we got this down blanket, this thing that's like four inches thick. We, all I could do not to climb underneath it and just go, bam, I'm done for the night. But I knew I had my boy Block, Glock, Block, my locking, boy cock, Block, blocking, gock, what is it, cock blocking, whatever. I know I had him waiting on me, so I had to make it to the show. So actually, uh, we're gonna do some Call of Duty after this. I think I'm game. I think I definitely so too. feel better. I, I do so have to too. go to the bathroom. I tweeted Panda uh, a few minutes ago. <laughs> I told her I had to go pee pee. Right. Um, I do want to say something to. The, I am a propose. I am a pro piece of shit I, I can never get your name i do want to say something i i hope you enjoyed the show tonight uh you know what i we might have you on as a future guest uh one of our shows coming up as far as a a technical aspect goes because you do nothing but build beast ass pcs for people so the reason i'm brown nosing and kissing your ass is i hope that you will send me one of them i need one now <laughs> but, um, if you want to give a shout out to you, I, I was online. I'll send you two hundred bucks right now. Guy. I'll send you two hundred bucks if you I'll just send me. Two hundred and ten. <laughs> Look, two hundred ten. If I'll, I'll send you two hundred dollars if you send me something that works better than my laptop. <laughs> I'll give you two ten and a naked picture of Glock's wife. No, no, that ain't gonna happen. We're we're. Getting, we're we're getting off topic here. This is yeah, a family podcast. Yeah, it's my a bad. family podcast. Sorry, I'll send you the one of her in the bikini. There you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had a good show, man. I think you know. I think it was fun. I can't complain really. I think I think both of us were a little nervous. Um, I think we honestly need to relax a little more. Um, but we want to keep it strict at some way at some point. Well, yeah, around, but we'll get around to it. We don't like I said earlier, man, in the pre-show, you know, of course, nobody can hear us. But in the pre-show, I was telling you, man, eventually we'll just be able to work on not being able to over talk each other, kind of in sync with each other, kind of be able to feed off each other. And I, it'll work out fine. I mean, the podcast is a little slow taking off, but it, that's like anything else. Um, 
you know, once we get things rolling, man, I mean, you're, you're feeling under the weather at the beginning of, of the show. I just got over being in a coma for two days after New Year's. I don't even remember. <laughs> so, sick. and then Rusty, you know, he's had to hurry up and get home. So he was kind of in a hurry. But Rusty, was, you know, he was cool, calm, and collective. I was kind of cool, calm, and collective. I was just... uh you know, I'm just letting everybody talk, do their thing. I don't really want to talk over everybody, so I just wait till my time, you know, to speak. Yeah. We're not allowed to curse during this stream, so the well, prize is leaving. If it if it happens, it happens, but I just don't want to. <laughs> no GD, no Fs, no N-bombs, none of that. We're a cool, calm, and collected. We cool. will get naked at, at 11.59 and 50 seconds. We will all take all of our clothes off. And then in the stream. If um, that's what you guys stick around for, <laughs> awesome, Greg. <laughs> oh, <Come> man. <laughs> <laughs> I am a propose. Oh. So maybe what we can do is um, with some of the donation money that you guys send to me, I'll send it to <laughs> I am a propose, and he can build me a computer. Good thing the PayPal's already under my donate. account. <laughs> Yeah, good thing. As I was gonna say, good thing I'm not in control of that money. Uh, Glock is, so you are supporting Glock. In, no, you're supporting. Uh, you you're supporting. You're supporting us in the show. You know, it's it, it goes back to the show, or you know, like I said, man, you know, be able to have a little extra money, pick up a couple of, uh, you know, uh, Xbox Microsoft points or whatever Microsoft money they call it now. Maybe uh, you know, PlayStation card or something, dude. So who knows. Let me ask you this, Glock. If we if we do have a female guest on the show, can we do the Howard Stern thing where we put her on the microphone on the on the speaker and we go? No, no, no. no. What if it's gaming related? What if we talk about the base that's associated <laughs> with Astros headsets? I mean, we could do that. Uh, anyway, all right, you'll gentle, see as the show goes game. on. I think appreciate you guys coming. We had a bunch we're gonna of people. get involved. We had a bunch of people coming to the show tonight. We had are we allowed? Are we allowed to talk about the one person in the chat that we're not allowed to talk about? Uh, <laughs> who no, would... let's not even do it. Yeah, there let's... we go. Yeah, let's not. I don't know who we're not supposed to be talking about. Freedom but... prize. I said it. There we go. I said it. Freedom prize. Oh, freedom prize. We have oh. to get that guy on the podcast one night because you know he is an epic gamer. He's an epic chef. And he's he does a great how to cook father, some food. He does how to cook some food. He does. Yes. He, he's a vapor gamer now too. To find out, you know, he's all into yeah, that. Yeah, and we can even get we can even get the Barney the Barney nerd guy on. Well, Barnacles is got Barnacles. I'm going to have on the show for sure. He's going to be on a on a tech show. I am pros. We can get him on a tech show. Um, I mean, maybe I, we could have those two on the same show and they could fight. <laughs> who's the better Who's the better nerd? I'm kidding. Uh, I am a propose. I know you're not a nerd, but Barnacles is. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the talent uh, uh, I am a propose has so I could build me a nice PC. God, the learning curve involved there is just crazy. I mean, yeah. I have to read stuff. <laughs> I can't read. I haven't read since I was like in junior high. What, uh, what's the last book you've read, Glock? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> there you go. Probably The Outsiders. This this is the last book I read, the twelve week year. I think I read To Kill a Mockingbird once. <laughs> <laughs> it, listen, all you guys out there who are struggling with your finances and stuff, read this book. But just saying. <laughs> uh, yes, we know Barnacles is a gamer as well, but what what Barnacles is really good at. Is he's part of a development team too? He knows the ins and outs of development. He knows techie stuff. He knows PC. He knows console. He knows all that shit, man. So he's got a wide variety of things to offer. Maybe he can let us know why the Xbox jizzes. I don't know. Why is the Xbox had cream stuff that coming is so out? Funny. <laughs> hey, yeah, Barnacles. Why does the Xbox One have creamy stuff coming out the top of it? I don't know why. Well, I mean, I, I, that's, uh, that awkward, that awkward, <laughs> that silence. awkward <laughs> silence, you know, after you say something like that. I don't know. That's 
That makes me want to get an Xbox One. <laughs> Thank God this video is age restricted. Holy lordy. What video? <laughs> this video. The one that's going to be up actually, on YouTube. We've actually... Well, we haven't talked about nothing wrong. We, we mentioned the news. There is white creamy stuff coming out the top of the Xbox One. That's... Google it. That's what I'm Google saying. It. I know. Uh, we we talked about um, we talked about the M uh, UMG being swatted, the UMG Philly, whatever being swatted. We talked about so close to toast. Oh talked yeah. About some scuff controllers, porn on the the PS4. We talked a um, lot about I mean, it. We, we talked, talked about some legit stuff. Yeah, we did. We did talk about some legit stuff, dude. What do you think about this optic think... uh, optic big timer retiring? <laughs> Do you even hear I about that? Any of that? You didn't see that? No. I I went off crazy. No. I'm not gonna lie. I'll come out of my shell for a second, dude. I think it's retarded. So when I heard that this guy was retiring MLG from Optic and he's still gonna do YouTube, he's probably still gonna do the same thing he was doing when he was with Optic. <laughs> retiring. Well, let me dude. ask you this: is What are you retiring from? It's not like. It's not like you worked at the plant for 20 fucking years and you're retired, bitch. You, you, you're an eSport athlete for a couple I, of years I think or so. What he meant to say, I think what he meant to say is I have to get a real job now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm not, about, I'm not, what about I'm not, Big Snacks? I'm not hating on Big Timer. I'm just the whole eSport thing. I don't even know. I haven't even kept up with what Big Snacks. Uh I don't know what's been going on at. In I fact, heard he deleted his channel. Did he really delete his channel? That's what I heard. I haven't even checked up on it. <laughs> I wonder I if he's going to be penalized or anything from YouTube. I mean, he's the one that collects the check, right? I guess. I guess. I don't know. Wow. I don't have no... Uh... Well. Are you guys gaming after this show? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We'll be on Glock Shots Twitch. So I will be lube it or use it. Lose. I will be streaming on Glock Shot. So don't worry, guys. And we'll probably do that shortly. There, the candor, <sighs> the candor will be a lot less stressed. It'll be Glock raging about the lag, blaming my connection, and then <laughs> wanting me to join his party, and then him still complaining about everything, <laughs> while I sit back. And I camp my ass off for a 19 and one game. Um, bro, we can't even, dude. It was bad the other night when me and Karma were playing the other day. I mean, we tried playing it like, oh god, it was like probably we played it like six or something, and then we played again, and it just either times, man, they were just so awful. I mean, dude, Karma was going negative every game. That's pretty damn yeah, bad when you know, Karma you're, goes you're, negative. I want to give a shout out to somebody. It's our uh, it's our manager for the uh, Last Stand podcast, Andrew underscore GVN. Um, this guy's a beast at Call of Duty. You know, back when I started and Andrew was around, he was a big newbie. He sucked, did he not? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, but uh, well, I'll take your word well, for it. I guess. Yeah, he sucked. He sucked at the game. Next thing you know, the game comes around. And he's getting better and better. Every game now, Andrew's at the top of the uh, leaderboard. So uh, give a shout-out and props to Andrew. Good shit, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, Andrew's a beast, dude. Farmer. Me and me and Andrew, man. The whole Everybody in Six Gun's a beast, dude. I don't know why we don't go further in this, but I think it's fun the way we have it. I mean, it's like I know when I play with Andrew and Cluttered and you and Jed, you know, I mean, usually we, we never lose. We never lose. Never. Never, we lose. never lose. We haven't lost one game. <laughs> not now, not together. There we was haven't. the one game. There was the one game that had the lag switcher. Oh my god! Remember him? Yeah. And we backed out. That technically counts as a loss. But how do you play? All right, let me ask you all this in the stream. Uh, do you play in a game that you're so mad? It's so unfair. The lag is so bad. Do you do you stick it out and play and go negative, or you do back the fuck out of the lobby? Pardon my language, I did say the f word. Do you back out of the lobby? I back out of the lobby. I get out when I'm running solo. When I get in a lobby like that, I back out. Am I wrong for doing that, or do you stick it out and do you play and go negative? It's not fair. It's not a fun experience, so I always leave. And I do also want to give a shout out to Little Wooly. 
What's up, Wooly? Yeah, we haven't played with Wooly in a long time, man. Pandagism. Yep. Pandagism's in the room, too. We got Freedom Fries. Um, Barnacles, Mr. Twisted Gamer. What's up, buddy? Uh, hey, you guys want to tweet out the stream for a little bit? Q and A. If you want to come in and talk, last. I've, uh... I've got no, no. Don't, don't, don't tweet it out. I got to go to the bathroom. We got 15 minutes. Oh. I think we need to make this show two hours long. It is. I can't hold it for two hours and 30 minutes. Man. It is two hours long, dummy. No, we're going to 10:30. What are you talking about? Is it? No. No, we're, we're going... going to 11, oh nerd. Oh, my God, I do. I got to. All right, so we're going an hour and a half from now on. I can't. My bladder's small, bro. <laughs> you need to You need to be able to uh, cam down and, and pee in a, in a cup or something. Oh, I do that all the time. Okay, then. What's we'll stopping you? don't have any cups. Maybe you shouldn't worry about those special drinks, uh, special beverages right away. <laughs> But that's just, you know. I drank a lot of water. I drank a lot of water tonight. Is that what that is? Yes, sir. All right. I'm not actually. Look at Andrew. Andrew, get that off of there. Uh-oh. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't Andrew. do it. Don't do it. Keep it clean. We just gave the guy <laughs> mad props. I love Andrew. We just gave dude. the guy mad props. What are you talking about? He, we give Andrew mad props. I don't want him coming in drawing penises on a picture, dude. Yeah, that's what I said. We just give the guy mad props, and he does that. <laughs> he didn't do it. He's Maybe all right. I should, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retract that statement. <laughs> I love Andrew, dude. Andrew's too funny. <laughs> you know what he is? He's oh. a little El Presidor that just hadn't come out yet. Oh, my favorite thing about Andrew is oh. his monotone. He's like, oh, my God, there's somebody in a corner. He's just camping in yeah, a corner. He always has this. Yeah, he never gets excited. He's like. Unless it's at you. He's like, he's like, yay, guys, we won. Yay. You'd almost think he's being sarcastic, but he's not. That's just the way Andrew is, dude. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <sighs> No, we can't have copyright videos on this show right now because this is getting uploaded to YouTube, so no copyrighted shit. Yeah, same goes for music, yeah. We're going to try to keep it legit. Same like thing goes with music. Like the Drunk Sex Podcast always was legit. Yeah, like the Drunk Sex Podcast. <laughs> All you guys watching know what I'm talking about. We, we always tried <laughs> to stay, you know, you got the boundaries. We were always right there. Sometimes we went over it just a little bit. Sometimes we didn't. We're going to keep this one closer to the safe side. <laughs> yeah, we got to keep it safe, man, because it's going on my channel. We're on Twitch. So we got to, you know, we're keeping this legit. So I don't mean no, no pornography, no ludicrously, outrageously cussing, screaming. You know, just being crazy, dude. I mean, they have Justin TV. Yeah. And they have, you know, but we're on Twitch, so we got to keep it gaming. So, can I can I be completely honest with you, real quick, Glock, and uh, you know, truthful? What's that? I why do I why do I hear myself? I don't know. Somebody's got the stream going. That could be Andrew. Anyway, um, I'm I'm a little mad at Freedom Fries. Why? And um, it's because he sold his 360 and he can't play with us anymore. <laughs> Freedom Fries, I'm going to block you on my Twitter, bro. You broke my heart. I can't deal with it anymore, bro. Yeah, I just heard. Yeah, <laughs> what's the deal with uh, PKA 161 copyright claim? It's stuck. Or it did got it shut down because the guy who drinks his own piss went ape shit, ape nuts. My bad. Ape nuts on the uh, BKS, BKC, that kid cast. He admitted to going into the bathroom, peeing in a cup, and then drinking it, and having no problem with it. Huh. He, th he thought it was sexy. Wow. Thought it was sexy. I have never once, never once in my life tasted my own urine. Now, I can say that. That was legit. Yeah. 
Never once. Have you? Uh, no. Liar. <laughs> no. No, now, I've, I've never, I mean, like... Wh who would think to do that? I've watched survival so stuff. So this guy did this. I've watched survival stuff on a travel channel, dude, where the survival man... Like, dual... The dual guy? Yeah, yeah. The, oh, my God. That was the one with the dual guy, dude. They fucking... He... He sits there and pees in a hard hat and drinks it just to be able to get it in his Ooh. mind that he's got something in there so he can get over the mind over matter there actually, thing. There actually is a little, um, I don't want to say uh, protein or whatever. <laughs> There's a little uh, positive into doing that, but not much, like 10%. It's better to do that than not have anything, I think. But would you be able to, oh, my God. I, you know what I think? I think if I drank like 22 beers first – it might be fine, right? I don't know. You're drinking, it's clear. A, drinking a lot of yeast I, I don't, or whatever. I don't think it has any. I don't, I don't know, think dude. It has any taste after that point? Well, how did we get on this conversation? I don't God, know. This is bad. Let's change it. <laughs> I don't know. We got like nine minutes before this show's over with. We're just shooting the shit, talking to people. Barnacle's talked about. There's a taboo of people that do that. <clears throat> uh, Ed, 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 sixty nine in Z says yes. Ed, I have, and it was uh, by accident from my wife so i think every guy's done that <laughs> freedom fries goes i drink mine because it's sterile and i like to taste <laughs> that's from dodgeball <laughs> that's a quote from dodgeball I, I even said it right did i get it right freedom fries did i get it right uh vibe point your William, cam down did you ever give vibe point your, your channel point your cam down bro nobody can see your why down. why do y'all want to see my nut no but when nobody can see your face man you're like you're like this you're like <laughs> Oh, here, like, well, I was looking at the chat. This is what I was doing. So let me let me do a Barnacles real quick. Okay, guys. So these are my 46-inch screens that I got up here right now. What about the one that's up top? Uh, what about the screen up top? You got a screen up above oh, your head? Yeah, it's right there. See? Oh, there, there it is. is. Oh. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, oh, it's a huge one. Look at Can you guys see my little red cheat dot on my TV? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I took a dot and I painted it fluorescent orange and I stuck it on the center of my TV. <laughs> I mean, I, I've done better when I snipe, and that's funny to hear vibration and see snipes. What? Yeah, but I've done better because of that dot. Since they took away the crosshairs on the sniper rifles on Call of Duty Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. So anyway, Glock's got some that he made, or not know that he bought. I bought some, dude. So you they can't were be like, saying that you they were like, what I'm talking about. They were like two ninety nine, three ninety nine, or something on Amazon. I picked some up, dude. <laughs> and they static stick or whatever you need to, to put your one screen. On your... Have you tried it? Have you tried using them? Yeah, I used them uh, during uh, I used them during MW three and Black Ops days. Worked pretty good on those. I, just, I never I really say Barnacles. I can't see. Where's the one on top? Fail. That is priceless. <laughs> so you can no scope. No, actually, no scoping. It doesn't matter. It's so random. Do it next time you get uh, on Ghost and you got a sniper rifle. Go about thirty feet away from a wall. It's in different places every time. Your bullet mark. <laughs> They're giving you shit in the chat. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about my rage video. <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, what do you guys think? You cannot give a run-and-gunner absolute complete silence. You cannot do it. There has to be a counter to it. Whether the run-and-gunner doesn't like the counter and the other person's play style, it doesn't matter. You just That would be so overpowered. You have to have the other guy, the guy who doesn't run-and-gun, he has to have some sort of counter to that. Otherwise, it would be completely unfair. Mm -hmm. Just because his game style doesn't match the perks, the running gunner doesn't. It doesn't matter to the running gunner. Tough, tough tootie. Right. <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. Right. You you have to have a, a counter to it. Although it does suck when I do run and gun and I get pre fired on when running around a corner. Why? Because he was camping, listening for my big ass, big footsteps. Now, is that my is that my fault or is that the game's fault? That's my fault. I shouldn't have been running around the corner as fast as I could. I could have threw a flashbang. I could have done something different. 
blah, 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 blah. My point in that video was that the game was not made just for run and gunning. There's so many aspects of the game. I mean, I want to ask you this, Glock. I meant to ask you this last the other day when we were talking. What if you got the of uh, the military over there in Iraq right now, and you threw down a whole bunch of 360s, and you had those guys playing? Do you think they would be running gunners, or would they play the game more uh, strategically? Like flank me left, flank I would me right, and they'd be giving hands. I would assume them. that they would be Shit. talking to one another. They would be, you know. Paying attention to one another and making sure that they were in the right places, you know. I mean, I'm sure they would. They would I, try to be. I think as, so too. They would use that to their knowledge, anyways. But I think if you did that with Battlefield, they would have more fun with that than Ghost. Because Ghost, let's just be honest, Ghost is too fast, even for an everyday military shooter. You know, you, Ghost is too fast <laughs> for it to be realistic as fuck, anyways. You put now, you put 360s nice. on the ground. You put a bunch of soldiers on Battlefield. I guarantee you they can do a lot more. They can do a lot more with that. But Ghost, it's too fast, man. Too fast. You're either well, running not to up. Mention the revenge spawn. Well, the revenge spawn. That's because of the whole. Yeah, it's because of the whole spawn behind you deal. And they still haven't fixed it yet. <laughs> you know, the game the, is the so fast that even. you've got people that are on your team that are running completely across the other side of the map, and they're and the maps are big, and I have no problem running around the damn things, dude. I, my my class set up. I'm on the other side. Before they can shake a stick at me, man. And I'm behind them. Well, now I'm killing them. And you're over there sitting in your little spot. Putting down people. Next thing you know, you're getting shot in the back of the ass. And you're yelling at me. Well, let's oh, let's... damn it! Clock, oh, hold, on, damn hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's talk about the map Stonehaven real quick. Because this works on some maps and it doesn't work on some maps. On Stonehaven, you got me and Karma at the top spawn in the broken building, in the burning building. We're up there watching that top spawn. You're running your little booty off all over the map, killing people, <laughs> which is awesome. Why? Because they spawn right in front of us, and we pick them off, and we kill them, and we get our kill streaks, and we go 20-0 and 0 every single game. You're the dude down there going 15-4, uh, and 15-7. and 7. Yep. So that map, it works great. Okay, on the map that has the rubble, what the hell map Stone is that? Haven. No, 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 no. The uh, the map that has the restaurant in the middle, the diner, the rubble on the left. Are you talking the, about strike the big zone? Palm tree you can run out on. Strike zone. No, the palm tree you can run out on. Oh, you talking no, about Chasm? Chasm. Chasm, Chazam. Yeah. Chazam. Yeah, that map. On the other hand, when your little bitch ass runs around all over the map, they spawn everywhere behind me yeah but see i i figured that map out i know where the spawns are at and i know where their main spawn is at your, i saw you camping on the <laughs> stairs i saw that that's my I spot watched your video so the next night we played the next night we played i'm sitting right there and you're like oh yeah vibe <laughs> I stole your camping spot. but then you left you should just stayed there you would have got a shit ton of kills and then you got mad at me because they were spawning oh, this party, party, party. And i'm like dude you got to pay attention man it's all right man so uh that was crazy all right, man. So, <laughs> hey, it's about it, man. Let's, let's go rage. Let, let, let's, let's go, go rage, rage on some game. Let's end this show on a on a. Hey, man, this was the first episode, last damn podcast, and I appreciate every one of y'all taking the time to watch it live or not later on YouTube, as you're seeing now. Uh, don't forget to check all the links down below in the description to check out the guys that we've got here, me, Vibe, and our special guest of the show, Rusty. Go check him out. And I appreciate every one of y'all coming, man. Uh, we're going to keep doing this. Next week, Lost in Place. If you guys ever watch Booster Busters on YouTube, that's the guy. And we're going to be talking about exactly what he does and uh, kind of bring that out there and kind of get a little bit of experience from uh, his mind of what he goes through to uh, find these boosters and, and try harders and stuff. But uh, I don't know, Vibe, you got anything you want to wrap up with? Yeah, yeah I, do, I do want to do a closing thought, or I might let you do the closing thought. But first thing I want to say is, uh, Andrew, <laughs> I want you to help organize the hashtag LSP topics so we can get that going, okay? Uh, tweet it out. Make sure it works. Make sure all the guys in the chat know that, uh, you know, if you guys want to talk about something, you want us to do a topic, or if you guys have a guest that you'd like to have us on, L hashtag LSP topics. Let's make it trend. Andrew's going to be the manager in charge of all that, and he's going to get us your questions to us. 
Uh, and then the, the last thought of the day, um, you know, like uh, what's his name, Jerry Jerry Springer did. Um, <laughs> got a last thought. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and shoot my uh, my January quote of the month for gamers. Um, you know, just push reset if things don't work out. That's it. That's it, man. That's uh, that's I I tweeted that uh, the other day. You know, I'm gonna start doing a monthly quote throughout the throughout the year 2014, and that's the first one. If things don't work out, just uh, push reset, guys. <laughs> but anyways, this your boy, Mr. Glock 420, my host, Vibration. Is <laughs> Until next time, guys, and as always, peace, love, and game on. See ya, damn it. <laughs> peace. Remember to wait a second. Hold the pose. Hold it.